Back at Berktari Stadium for Carson Newman's opener against the West Florida Argonauts. Time now to meet the starting lineups and we'll let Carson Newman's players introduce themselves to you. Derek Evans Jr., Macon, Georgia, senior, quarterback. Antonio Wimbush, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, senior, running back. Toot Johnson, FAM County, sophomore, running back. Quentin Phillips, Augusta, Georgia, senior, wide receiver. Lane Kelly, Barnbury, South Carolina, two sophomore, wide receiver. Reese Fain, John City, Tennessee, senior, offensive line. Philip McDowell, Inman, South Carolina. I'm a senior, I play left guard. Jordan Seal, Morristown, Tennessee, senior, center. Cole Fritz, Philadelphia, Tennessee, senior, offensive guard. Dylan Wilson, left to South Carolina, senior, left tackle. <laughs> Trevor McCarriff, Madison, Alabama, senior, tight end. Nick Owens, New Market, Alabama, true freshman, D-line. Waka Fanor with two Fs um, from Naples, Florida, junior, I play defensive end. Marcel Presley, pushing out Florida, senior, nose guard. Brian Bembry, Parrish, Florida, fifth year senior, D tackle. Antonio Henderson, Palmetto, Florida, red shirt senior, outside linebacker. My name is Rondro Peoples Jr. I'm from Knoxville, 865. I already know. Uh, I'm a junior, uh, play middle linebacker. Dan Dixon Brooks from Greenville, South Carolina. I'm a junior. I rep the 864. Des Farrell, Miami, Florida, senior, DB. Darius Williams, true senior, safety, 727 St. Petersburg, Florida, the bird. Jaquan Smith, Greenville, Alabama, senior, defensive back, 334 stand up. Jamar McDonald, I'm out of Florida, Red Shirt Junior, DB. Those are the Eagles starters for tonight's game against West Florida. Kickoff is next on the Eagles Sports Network. You are listening to the flagship station for Carson Newman Football, AM 620, WRJZ Knoxville. This is Carson Newman Football, a legendary history. Turner to the 40, the 30, Turner to the 20, nobody's going to catch Vernon Turner, 80 yards, a touchdown on the first play of the game. Vernon Turner has Carson Newman up 6 to nothing. 125 All-Americans. Williams, house call, touchdown, Carson Newman. 21 sack titles. He throws down into the end zone, wide open. Touchdown, Carson Newman, Alvin Sanders. Five national championships. That's it from Wilberforce, Ohio, and Carson Newman will play for the national championship. Fear the fear. We're going to roll up our sleeves and we're going to go to work starting today so that you are better as a football player, so that you are better as a man, and this program is better because it's bringing glory to God. This is Carson Newman Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Today's game is brought to you in part by Appalachian Electric Cooperative, Domino's, the Carson Newman Chick-fil-A, by ShopCNEagles.com, by the Kate Insurance Agency, the Eagle Club, the Bible Insurance Agency, by Coke Zero, the Tennessee National Guard, by Magaha Electric, Interdigital, and by Lisa's Country Kitchen. Now, here's the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. We welcome you back to Burke Tar Stadium. Adam Cavalier alongside Michael Watrang. Our spotter tonight is Brandon Roberts, and sideline reporter is Leander Carey. Michael, your keys to this one as Carson Newman wins the toss and elects to receive. It's got to be start fast. You look back to last season and that inability to score in the first quarter and give West Florida points early and often in that contest because you couldn't move the ball and then you fumbled it twice. I think that's going to be the big key for Carson Newman. Come out quick, come out hot, and protect the football. Beautiful day here on a Thursday night at Mossy Creek as the Eagles and Argonauts meet for the second time. Eagles guard in blue tops and white shorts, orange helmets. While West Florida wears white jersey tops, blue pants, and blue helmets. Now let's head down to the sidelines, check in with Leanda Carey for today's weather. Thanks, Adam. Right now it's bright and clear with just a few purplish clouds off in the distance. 
beyond the stadium. It's been sunny all day. Right now it's 83 degrees. The high for today was 85. Um, winds are light and variable, five to 10 miles per hour. Humidity isn't too bad, just about 48%. Warm but comfortable fall weather out here today. Sundown is at 7.56 p.m. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, Leanda Carey. Marcus Williams, Ray Artebridge, deep to receive the kick from West Florida's Colton Norris. Interesting change there uh, for the Argonauts. You've got an All-American in Austin Williams who can kick off for you, but instead it's Colton Norris, a junior punter from Niceville, Florida, who will kick off. He has it teed up on the left hashes and will boot this one away from left to right. Norris strides forward, toe to leather, Bob's your uncle, off we go. 2019 is underway as the kick backs up Marcus Williams into the end zone, it bobbles through his bread basket, he picks it up on the E and Eagles and takes an E. For a touchback, Carson Newman starts, starts off first and 10 at its own 25. See what the Eagles offense brings to the table, I think, with all the talk of the ability to throw the football of this year's group. Do you come out on first down, try to chuck it around, or do you go to the bread and butter here on the first play of the 2019 season? be interesting to see what Carson Newman does up front as well. For all the Eagles' experience on the offensive line, a ton of folks were hurt throughout preseason camp. And, in fact, as a result of that, Jordan Seal making his first career start at right guard today. Duke Johnson, Antonio Wimbush, the split backs behind Derek Evans. It's a toss to the left side for Wimbush. That opens up nicely. A stiff arm across the 35. He picks up first down yardage up to the 37 yard, 38 yard line. 13 yards before Johnson cuts him down. First and 10 Eagles after the 13 yard tote. I like it a lot. Good blocks from Romain Kelly and Trevor McCarrive on the outside. Wimbush paves the way and good first play of the season for the Eagles. Split backs again for the Eagles. Johnson to the right, Wimbush to the left. Evans, option pitch, right side Wimbush. Wimbush with a massive hole. He's into the second level, into West Florida territory, across midfield and across the 40, forced out of bounds at the 35 by Ferguson. It's a massive 27-yard tote for Antonio Wimbush. He is closing in on the 3,000-yard mark for his career. First and 10 Eagles from the West Florida 35. Well, Antonio Wimbush was one of the best in the country in terms of yards per carry. Felt like he was getting 10 yards a pop every single time. Last year, he burst one open in the Eagles. First two plays, they're going to the outside using the speed. Wimbush and Johnson again, the split backs behind Evans. McCare of the tight end, right a wide receiver each way. Evans under center, brings McCare in motion to the left. Hand off on a trap, trap to the left side for Toot Johnson. Johnson lowers his shoulders and pulverizes a couple defenders inside the 30. Over the left hashes down to the 29-yard line. Six-yard tote. Montgomery with the, the stop, but the Eagles chunk yardage each time they touch the ball. I love what they're doing offensively, too. They go to the left with the option, with a little pitch. They go to the option to the right. They go with a little off-tackle play to the left. They're switching things up nicely here on the first three plays. Minute 15 in, scoreless, but the Eagles have it second and four, middle of the field at the West Florida 29. Evans back to pass, freelancing, sprinting out to the left side. He'll duck it. Evans, shake and bake move, back to the right, across the 25, down to the 20. He picks up the first down before he gets upended by Bell around the shoulders. 29-yard game for Derek Evans. He did that one all by himself. Oh, well, it's interesting. I really thought Braxton Westfield was wide open on the outside. He elected not to throw it to him. Probably would have been an easier play for the Eagles, but instead he tucked and run, and that's some of that freelancing that Derek Evans is able to do. Three wide set for the Eagles, two to the short side right. Evans takes, hurry up. Evans, option to the left, keeps it himself and slides down, gives himself up for just a yard down to the 19-yard line. Ripped down by Montgomery and Cox. For the first time today, West Florida holds Carson Newman to less than five yards. First quarter, 12.55 to play. No score, but the Eagles on the move. A four-play, 56-yard drive at present standing. Got to cap it with a touchdown here on the first drive of the season. Eagles go three wide. Wimbush split into the slot to the wide side right. Evans back to pass, pressure in his face, dumps it out to the flat, flat to McCarrow, the tight end, catches it, but loses two yards back to the 21-yard line. Let him a little too far, and McCarrow can't keep his feet. Third and 11. Yeah, not bad there from Derek Evans. Probably the only option that he had. Be interesting to see what they go to here on third and long. Eagles have been able to run that draw and screen very effectively over the last couple years. 
But in this situation, you wonder if they try to go to the air at all. No score, 12-10 in first quarter. Three wide set for the Eagles, two to the wide side left, one to the short side right. Evans back to pass. Now he hands off on the drive to Wimbush. Wimbush slips a tackle in the backfield. Stop and start move across the 10. He's got the first down between the hashes, down to the nine. Antonio Wimbush moves the chains with a 12-yard run on the draw play. First and 10 Eagles. They convert on third down. Really good last year at that, 44%. Eagles do it on third and long this time. Really good job by Philip McDowell and Nick Rude on the left side of that offensive line. They collapsed everything. And Antonio Wimbush read it nicely and a big gain for the Eagles. First and goal for the Eagles. Dindy and Johnson, the split backs behind Evans. Two wide receivers to the right, ball middle of the field. Evans takes, gives on the trap, right side Dindy. Dindy, a stiff arm, moves down to the five and gets brought down to the boundary right side. Gain of four to bring up second and goal from the five. Good job by these Eagle running backs, though, on this first drive. Each of them have had to make some nice blocks to Johnson and Antonio Wimbush doing excellent jobs getting to the second level and paving the way for some extra yardage. 60, 70 yards rushing now for Carson Newman. It's second and goal from the five for Carson. No score. 11 4 to play first quarter. This is the opening drive of the game. Johnson and Dindy, the split backs behind Evans. Evans takes option to the left side. A late pitch to Johnson. Balls on the ground and picked up by the Argonauts. Potential for a turn here for West Florida. Montgomery is charging his way down the right sideline and Superman grabbed by Romaine Kelly to bring him down up at the 46-yard line. It's a return of 40 yards for Montgomery. Picking up the mishandled fumble by Toot Johnson. This was Carson Newman's problem last year against the Argos. And now in game 38 of West Florida's tenure as a college football program, 34 of those have featured a turnover. Eagles give it away deep in West Florida territory. Well, Derek Evans was kind of under pressure there, had to make a late decision, but it was still a good pitch. Toot Johnson took his eyes off the football and was looking to run rather than secure the football in that situation. And deja vu from last year. 10.46 to play first quarter. No score. J.C. Robles, Colorado State transfer, into the game at quarterback for the Argos. He takes the shotgun snap, stands in, runs over the middle of the field, makes Nick Owens miss at midfield. He's got the first down, running left boundary, and slides down in front of Jaquan Smith down at the Carson Newman 40. 14 yards on the QB scramble by J.C. Robles. 6'5", 215 pound senior out of Acelia, California. Should have been 7-0 Carson Newman. Instead, now the defense has to buckle down. Robles in the gun with Newton to his right. Trips go to the wide side right, four-man front for the Eagles. Snap back at the chest, hand off Newton straight ahead. Newton swallowed up, and he'll lose a yard. Back to the 41-yard line, Alonzo Houston shooting the gap to make the stop for a loss. Second down and 11 to go. Andro Peebles also in the mix. 10.03 to play first quarter, no score. Second, and call it 10, in fact, for West Florida. Ball on the left hash at the Carson Newman 40. Robles in the gun, Newton to his right. Coates, Letio, and Randolph, the wide receivers, with two of them split to the wide side right. Robles on second and 10 from the Eagle 40. Back to pass, wants to air it out along the left sideline for Coates. That's incomplete. Jamarian McDonald and Coates tussling with one another up the left sideline, but some equal pushing and shoving there. No fla flag flies. And it's third and 10 for a West Florida team that converted 37% of its third downs a year ago. Yeah, there's some jockeying for position down the field there, but still nice coverage by McDonald on the outside. And a big third down there here now for this Carson Newman side. Probably out of field goal range. Probably get a few yards, and maybe Austin Williams can convert from there. He's got a powerful leg. He's been good from 51 in his career with 37 made kicks. Letio in motion to the wide side right. Robles in the gun. Takes the shotgun snap. Eagles rush five. Robles hit in the backfield and slung down by Peebles. The Mike linebacker shoots through on the blitz. And Peebles drops him for a loss of nine. Fourth down, 19 to go. West Florida forced to punt. Really nice job by Peebles. Good, good disguise as well by the Eagles defensively. And Larry Slade dials it up. And the Eagles defense is able to Make sure that the miscue from the offense doesn't come back to haunt. And now, Carson Newman's offense, which was great on that first drive, probably should have had points. We'll see what they're able to do on this second drive. Dawson Hamlin back to punt for the Argos. 
Desmond Farrell stands at his 10 to receive this kick. Hamlin a reserve a year ago. Argonauts with the best punt return defense in the country last year. Negative 1.2 yards a return. Farrell lets this one bounce at the five, and it is downed at the two by D'Arve Brown. So terrible field position and a great punt by Dawson Hamlin. Carson Newman takes over first and ten at its own two. Eagle fans, AEC is your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. It's service you can trust and value you can depend on. Powering Mossy Creek, we are AEC, member-owned and service-driven. This does feel a lot like last year. Carson Newman fumbled on its first drive. Last year, I think it was West Florida went minus 14 yards, had to settle for a field goal on their first drive. They were unable to get points off of a miscue from Carson Newman. And now, if you're Mike Turner and company, you just want to get out of the shadows of your own goal post, try to get down the field a little bit and flip field position. Wimbush and Johnson are the split backs. Two wide receivers to the wide side left. First and 10 for the Eagles from the two. Eagles hand off to Toot Johnson on the trap play right up the gut. Across the five, he lowers his shoulder up to the eight-yard line for a six-yard tote before running into the teeth of that West Florida defense led by Wilcox. So second down, four to go. Well, Carson Newman's offense looked great on that very first possession up until they got into the red zone, kind of stagnated once they got down there. Let's see if they're able to use this big field again. Ball in the middle of the field on second and four from the Eagle eight. Give us to Wimbush on a counter play, and West Florida had that one read very well. Ethan Crew, or pardon me, Miles Meyer in the mix, Brandon Pinnerton in the mix. No gain for Wimbush. Stopped at the eight. So third down, four to go, and the Eagles can ill afford to go three and out in this situation. Need a first down. Westfield split to the short side left. Kelly to the wide side right. Evans option to the right side. Pitch to Wimbush. Wimbush has the edge in a seam. Has the first down and more across the numbers right side. 20-25 and knocked down by Ferguson after first down yardage at the 25-yard line. A 17-yard tote for Antonio Wimbush. He's up to 54 already on the day on just four carries. Yeah, excellent job by the Eagles on that right side. The option is working, and it worked every single play, and they probably would have gotten inside the two or three-yard line on that first possession, but Toot Johnson fumbled. So now can the Eagles protect that football because they're moving it on that option play. Johnson and Wimbush, the split backs behind. Evans first and 10 right hash at the Eagles' own 25. Trapped to the left side on a toss for Johnson, and Bush read that one well. Smacks him for a loss of two back to the 23. Second down, 12 to go. Well, that was just an unfortunate breakdown there by everybody on the left side of the line. It wasn't just one player getting into the backfield. It was four or five. The Eagles just didn't hold up with their blocks on the left-hand side. Now you're behind the sticks. Let's see if they try to air it out here. They got Westfield to the left-hand side with Wimbush in the slot. I think this is an opportunity to try to get Braxton Westfield's first catch in a Carson Newman uniform. McCowan is the lone running back in the backfield for the Eagles. Evans under center. Takes on second and 12. Evans straight five strep job. Deep ball over the middle of the field for Westfield. Westfield and over the shoulder grab. He fumbles the football, picks it up at the 25. Westfield takes it the distance. Touchdown, Carson Newman. Westfield mauls Richardson on his way to the end zone, but hold the phone, a flag on the play. The post pattern works perfectly. Evans to Westfield for 77 yards if it stands. You know, it's interesting about that. You look at the replay, that might not have even been a catch. If you have the ability to replay, I don't know if that was actually a catch in the first place, but the penalty is going to wipe this one out. Curious if they're going to call it on McCarriff or who may be on that right side of the line. Todd Boyd will wait for his decision on the first penalty of the game that wipes off a Carson Newman touchdown. Holding offense, number 82. It's a 10-yard penalty. Replay second down. So, yep, Trevor McCarriff has the hold that wipes Carson Newman's 77-yard touchdown off the board. Well, it's interesting because McCarriff didn't necessarily hold. The defender kind of went to the ground, and the way that it looked was as if McCarriff tore him to the ground. McCarriff had just his left hand on him, kind of pushing him backwards. I don't know if that really was a hold at the end of the day. And we remember last year, Carson Newman didn't get a lot of calls in their favor. And here's the first one. But you see the ability of Braxton Westfield. When that ball was thrown up, I thought, no chance. He's getting under that one. But he got under it. He caught it. Had the breakaway speed. 
I think that that is an opportunity for the Eagles to get him involved a lot on that kind of play. Second and 22 for Carson Newman. McCowan and Dindy, the split backs behind Evans. Three wide receivers set. Evans back to pass, pumps on Furl's right sideline. That's complete to J.J. Lewis, the West Florida transfer, makes a catch against his former team and hauls it in along the right sideline up at the 20 for a seven-yard gain. Third down and 15 to go for the Eagles. Well, third and 15, no Westfield on the field. He's getting a breather after that lengthy run. I think that this is a spot where you probably just run the – a little screen play, try to pick up a couple yards, see if it opens up. The last third down situation that they had, third and intermediate, they ran a draw and were able to pick up the first down. So I think this might be an opportunity to run that screen pass. McCowan, the lone man in the backfield. Dindy's in the slot. Evans rolling the pocket left. Once the throwback screen and has it to McCowan. McCowan shuffles his way across the 30, spins, and gets brought down at the 30, short of the sticks by five yards. Screen works, but on third and 15. It's Limehouse that makes the stop, and Carson Newman will be forced to punt for the first time. Still no score with 5.18 to play first quarter. You know, Drake McCallan, very big, powerful back. If you have an elusive runner, you probably are able to get the first down if he's able to make a man miss, but McCallan just couldn't spin away because Limehouse was the only defender on that side of the field. Jaden Gardner and Karan Ashley back to receive this Nate Craft punt. Freshman out of Salem, Virginia. Gets it away with his right boot. Gorgeous kick. Hangs it high. It'll come down to Ashley at the 30. Ashley hit by one and dropped by the second in the boundary left side. McCarriff with the stop. We'll step out for a break. No score. 4.46 to go in the first quarter on the Eagles Sports Network. Drive safer longer when you visit your local Michelin dealer, Fleet Tire, for a set of Michelin Defender tires. Michelin is the brand drivers turn to for tire options that deliver a safe, quiet, and comfortable ride. Fleet Tire, Wooden Avenue, Exit 1B, Knoxville. Based on internal wet braking results versus Goodyear Assurance Comfort Tread tires and third-party wear test results versus Continental ProTrack tires with Eco Plus. See Manufacturer's Limited Warranty Book for details. Fleet Tire, Woodland Avenue. When Knoxville TVA Employees Credit Union opened 85 years ago, more convenient meant just being able to have an account. But today, more convenient means so much more. It means getting quick access to all your banking, make transfers, view real-time balances, and make deposits with our mobile app. Find out how much more convenient it is to be a member at Knoxville TVA Employees Credit Union. Learn more at tvacreditunion.com. Moving together through life, upward and forward. Federally insured by NCUA. Message and data rates may apply. Ask for details. AM 620 WRJZ Knoxville. Well, a penalty on that punt return. Unnecessary rough, roughness uh, or unnecessary roughing on Givens of West Florida backs the Argos up to the 15-yard line. 4.46 to play in the first quarter. Still no score. Carson Newman has moved the ball. 91 yards of rushing, 107 yards of total offense, but a penalty wipes a 77-yard touchdown pass to Braxton Westfield off the board. The Eagles fumble it away when they have it inside the Argonaut 10, and that's why this sucker is still scoreless. West Florida, just seven yards of total offense. Hey, Eagle fans, Domino's is the official pizza of the Hart Carson Newman Eagles. When you're hungry, reach for Domino's. Get a large one-topping pizza for $4.99 with your Carson Newman ID. Domino's is the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. So Argonauts take over first and 10 at their own 15-yard line. Robles in a pistol this time, and Anthony Johnson, Jr., last year's one of last year's rotation backs, is into the game as the single setback. Two wide receivers to the wide side right and one to the short side left. Robles... Brings the line set. Four-man front for the Eagles. He takes a shotgun snap, hands off to Johnson, picks his way to the left side, and that goes absolutely nowhere. Three Eagles led by Brian Bembry meet him for a loss of three back to the 12. Tried to pick his way to the left side of the line, but Johnson, nothing doing there, second and 13. Well, this is a very experienced offensive line for West Florida. Four of them are returning starters. The other one's a redshirt senior. Very experienced, a lot of snaps underneath their belt. But right now, Carson Newman's defensive line, led by that anchor in the middle of Montel Presley and B Brian Bembry, are getting the better of the Argos. Second and 13, West Florida from its own 12. Three-man front for the Eagles. Showing blitzes from the linebackers in the gaps. Robles takes the shotgun snap, steps up in the pocket, 
Dumps the ball, left sideline, and that's over top of everybody. Out of bounds for an incompletion up at the 40. Desmond Farrell was bracketing Kevin Grant the entire way. No shot there. It's third and 12. It's textbook coverage there by Des Farrell. He was on that receiver the entire way. Flipped his hips at the last second. That ball was floated out of bounds. Eagles defensively holding up serve. This would be a nice opportunity for the Eagles defensively. Bring a little bit of pressure, try to get to the quarterback, maybe force a turnover in this situation. 3.59 to play first qu quarter. No score between Carson Newman and a West Florida team that's receiving votes in the AFCA coaches poll. Blue tops, blue pant shorts for the Argonauts moving left to right, third and 13 from their own 12. Robles in the gun with... Johnson behind him. Snap back. Robles takes the shotgun snap at the west, waist. Steps up in the pocket and is wrenched down for a sack. Brian Bimbry grabs him around his calves and does the alligator death roll to bring him to the surface. A flag on the play, a loss of two, but you're probably going to decline the flag. Illegal motion, offense number 32. That penalty will be declined. Fourth down. Excellent rush by Brim Bimbry to force the three and out. Yeah, that was an interesting play call, too, because that was not – really a passing play. It was more of a little screen underneath. They were waiting for the drag from the backside. All the other receivers and running backs were down the field blocking. They were waiting for that ball to be unfurled because they were going to try to make it a kick return, punt return situation. Be a little shield on this near right sideline and try to run around that. No opportunity for Robles to find any receivers, and he was helpless in that situation. Hamlin will boot it away to Desmond Farrell. Again, West Florida punt return defense, negative 1.2 yards return last year. Hamblin stands between the ENS and Eagles in the end zone. No rush from Carson Newman. He gets off a line drive spiral that backs Farrell up to the right hashes at the 33. Farrell running horizontally, cuts the corner, tight ropes along the left sideline, stop and start move, slips out of a tackle, reaches the football forward across the 45, and lands up at the 47-yard line. Smiley with the stop to halt a 14-yard return for Des Farrell. First and 10 Eagles when we come back after this on the Eagle Sports Network. At the Kate Insurance Agency, our focus is you. At Kate Insurance, we're your local agents, real, live members of the community, only two blocks from Carson Newman. We understand the importance of having the proper coverages for your vehicle, whether it be taking a drive through the Smoky Mountains or just driving around listening to your Eagles play. Our team at Kate Insurance can help you get the best coverages with the best companies at competitive prices. Call 865-475-3391 for a quote today or visit kateinsuranceagency.com. At InterDigital, we strive to be a leading provider of cutting-edge digital and marketing solutions. At InterDigital, we want to help our clients find success. Our team of technology gurus work together to ensure InterDigital continues to progress forward as technology advances. At InterDigital, we make technology work for you. Visit InterDigital.com for IT support, web development, virtual tours, graphic design, internet marketing, mobile app, and film production services. InterDigital, laser focused on your success. Well, while we were gone, Toot Johnson rips off a 50-yard run to start the drive and gets Carson Newman down to the two-yard line. Eagles now with 158 yards of total offense, and they've got it first and goal from the two. No score with 3.13 to play in the first quarter. McCowan and Wimbush, the split backs behind Evans. Braxton Westfield, the lone wide receiver to the right. Reese and McCare of the tight ends to either side of the line. Evans brings the line set. Reese in motion to the right, takes the snap, handoff Wimbush on a trap right side. Wimbush powers his way for six. Touchdown, Carson Newman. Eagles lead it, 6 nothing on a two-yard touchdown plunge for Antonio Wimbush. Career score number 31 for Wimbo. He's tied Robert Hardy for 13th on the all-time list. Well, that's what Carson Newman has done, really, the le this last year or so. They've gone to that off-tackle lead play, left, right, and they get that extra blocker in the running system, and it's really been nice for Carson Newman to be able to get these running backs that are able to block, and Wimbush is the benefactor, and Carson Newman's offense finally gets into the end zone. Nate Kraft on for the point after attempt. Snap is back, hold is down. Kraft's kick is perfect. And it's a 7-0 Carson Newman lead with 2.52 to play in the first quarter. A two-play, 53-yard drive to push the Eagles in front. We're back to Berktar after this on the Eagles Sports Network. Hello, my name is Phil Jones. I'm the senior pastor at First Baptist Powell. You know, in life, there are two approaches. 
first approach says that God exists for me. He exists to make me happy. A second approach says that I exist for God. I exist to glorify Him. And it's in that second approach that we find genuine, true joy. That's the approach we take at First Baptist Powell. Join us this Sunday at 1030. We look forward to seeing you. Carson Newman Eagle football has been playing football since the 1880s. Well, Vaughn Pharmacy hadn't been around that long, but they're both great East Tennessee institutions. Vaughn Pharmacy is proud to support Carson Newman Eagle football. Dwight Disney and his staff do an excellent job making sure you and your family get the medicines you need. Hi, this is Bob Bell. They've always taken care of us. They'll take care of you. Vaughn Pharmacy, across the road from Powell High School in the heart of Powell. All right, back at Berktar Stadium, Adam Cavalier, Michael Watrang, 7-0. Carson Newman finally leads it in a first quarter that Carson Newman has dominated. 160 yards of total offense for the Eagles compared to three for the Argonauts. Marcus Clayton back to receive this Nate Kraft kick after a two-play, 53-yard drive. Toot Johnson, a 51-yard run. Wimbush finishes it off with a two-yard plunge for his 31st career rushing touchdown. Clayton hauls in the kickoff at the five along the right hashes, picks his way to the right, avoids an Antonio Henderson tackle, and then gets up into along the right sideline by Jamarian McDonald up at the 32-yard line. A flag on the play back at the 24, though, and we'll see if Marcus Clayton's 28-yard return stands. Probably going to be a hold of some kind here. Wait on Todd Boyd for the official ruling, and... During the return, holding number four on the return team. Ten-yard penalty, first down. Gail Laurent or Jervon Newton, the culprit there. Not sure which four it was on the kickoff return team. West Florida has two of them, but it backs up the Argonauts to their own 14-yard line. Hey, Eagle fans, Lisa's Country Kitchen serves the best home-cooked meals that the Lakeway region has to offer. Lisa's Country Kitchen, it is the official restaurant of the Carson Newman Eagles. 7-0, Eagles lead at 2.46 to play first quarter. West Florida has gone for a punt and a three and out on its first two possessions. New quarterback in for West Florida is Austin Reed. He's in the gun. Takes the snap, pitch, and a toss to Gardner left side. Gardner looking for the edge. He's hit by Darius Williams up at the 20-yard line and forced out of bounds at the 21. A seven-yard tote on the most productive play of the game so far for West Florida. Second and three. West Florida doubles its total offensive output with that play right there. First really time the Argos have gone for positive yards on the ground, it feels like. Gardner behind Reed in the pistol again. Trips go to the wide side right. One to the short side left on second and three from the Argonauts' own 21. Snap back to Reed. He runs to the left side, picking his way for a first down up the left sideline, across the 25 and forced down by Triplett up at the 28-yard line. Seven yards on back-to-back -back rushes for the Argonauts, and it's first and 10. Interesting dynamic here for West Florida. Argos lost their offensive coordinator at the start of the month, Pete Shinnick has been calling the plays today for the first time in some time in his coaching career. Minute 57 to play, first quarter, 7-0. Eagles lead it. Argonauts with first and 10 from their own 28. Reed in the pistol with Gardner behind him. Now he shuffles off to his left hip, trips to the wide side right. Reed back to pass, hits Letio in space over the middle of the field. Letio wrapped up immediately by Antonio Henderson at the 36-yard line, and he comes to a crumpling halt after an eight-yard gain. West Florida moving the football. Second down and two to go for the Argos. Walk winds inside of 85 seconds to play in the first quarter. 7-0, Eagles on top. Lee, Reed in the pistol, Gardner behind him, four wide set to each direction. Ball spotted middle of the field with 70 seconds left first quarter. Eagles on top, 7-0. Gardner off to the left tip of Reed now. Snap comes back at the chest, hands off Gardner right side. Gardner piled up and stopped for no gain by Brian Bembry. And Rajon Williams at the 36-yard line. Second down, or third down, pardon me, and two to go. 
West Florida. Third down here, 0 for 2 so far today. Argonauts slow getting folks in. Anthony Johnson Jr. is back in at running back. He's behind Austin Reed in the pistol. Two tight ends, two wide receivers to the wide side left. Shotgun snap back, handoff to Johnson up the middle. Johnson piled up. He pushes the pile forward and picks up first down yardage up to the 39-yard line. Montel Presley and Brian Bembry, along with Rajon Williams, stepping in there, but good enough for three yards and a first down for West Florida convert to convert its first third down. And that might be the final play of the first quarter. Eagles. Eagles dominate it, but lead it just 7 to nothing thanks to a turnover and a penalty that wiped out a touchdown. We are back to Burktar Stadium with the second quarter after this on the Eagles Sports Network. Don't know what to wear on game day? Head over to shopcandeagles.com for all of your Carson Newman Athletics gear. You can find clothing from Adidas, Columbia, Nike, and Under Armour to cover you from head to toe. Shopcandeagles.com also has duffel bags, backpacks, jewelry, pet supplies, and gifts. Don't waste any more time. Prove you are the ultimate Carson Newman fan with the official gear of the Eagles at shopcandeagles.com. Visit today. Dorm food got you down? Need a home-cooked meal? then Lisa's Country Kitchen is for you. Lisa's Country Kitchen has been feeding Carson Newman students for 15 years. Lisa's has a family-friendly atmosphere all day long, from the morning with her $2.99 breakfast specials to dinner with Lisa's fresh, never-frozen steaks. Carson Newman students get a 10% discount with their student ID. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. We are back at Burktar Stadium. Eagles lead at 7 nothing after one. Let's head down to the sidelines, check in with Leander Carey. Thanks, Adam. After setting up that touchdown, Toot Johnson came off the field, guzzled some water, got a trainer, laid on the ground. He's got some pretty serious leg cramps going on. They've worked on him several times since then. It's uh, right in his calves. They stretched him, used a machine that essentially punches him really hard in the calves and uh, worked on it several times. It looks like he will have no problems, but that is something to look through for through the rest of the game. Back to you. All right, thanks, Leanda. First and 10 Argos from their own 39. Reed back to pass, loads of time over the middle of the field, incomplete to Coates. Flag flies in late from the back judge. Goes down as an incompletion for now. We'll see what Todd Boyd and this crew has to say. 7-0 Eagles, the difference right now in Antonio Wimbush. Two-yard touchdown plunge. Here's Todd Boyd. Pass interference, defense, number one. That's a spot foul, automatic first down. So Jamarian McDonald called for the pass interference. And it moves the football up to midfield. An 11-yard penalty there to give the Argonauts the first down. First really sustained drive for West Florida. They went four yards and a punt on four plays on the first, a three and out, and minus five yards on the second. But a six-play, 25-yard drive so far for the Argonauts. Johnson in the backfield to the right of Reed in the gun. Two wide receivers each direction, ball on the left hash. Wide side is to the right on first and ten from midfield for the Argos. Reed back to pass, slings it to Litio in the flat right side, complete at the 40 in Carson Newman territory, and yanked down by Darius Williams along the right sideline, down at the 37-yard line. 13 yards, and West Florida picks up its third first down of the possession. Well, what the running game has done for West Florida, even though they haven't been overly successful in it, averaging just two yards per rush so far, has brought Carson Newman's linebackers up towards the line of scrimmage. Last two pass plays, they have bailed towards the line of scrimmage, and there's been some room in the secondary. First and 10 Argos, right hash at the Eagle 37. Reed in the pistol, Johnson behind him. Trips go to the wide side left, a lone man to the short side right. Three-man front for the Eagles. 
3-3-5 look for Carson Newman. Eagles show blitz. It's a QB draw for Reed. He's got wheels. Breaks across the middle of the field inside the 30. And knocked down by Demarcus Jones, a reserve cornerback, down at the 28-yard line. Nine yards. And West Florida getting haul after haul on this position. Well, they ran the ball right where Carson Newman brought its blitz, and by moving the running back in motion, that was able to stymie the initial blitzer, and that left a huge hole right at the second level of Carson Newman's defense. And right now, Reed has shown that not only has he been able to run the football, but he's been much more effective throwing the ball. Second down, a yard to go for the Argos, middle of the field at the Eagle 28. Newton back into the game at running back. Reed takes the shotgun snap, blitz from behind, avoids pressure, zips over the middle of the field, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Ray Arterbridge snags it, weaves his way between the hashes, and gets snatched by the turf monster and knocked down up at the 12. Ray Arterbridge read it perfectly and broke to the middle of the field to seize the read pass for the INT. Returns at 14 yards. Turnover game, Eagle, even Eagles get some sudden change. Well, I really like that from Arterbridge. He did an excellent job of reading the quarterback's eyes. A, it was great original defense. And then as soon as he saw that ball uncorked, he was able to slide in front and pick it off. Carson Newman's defense has looked extremely stout here early, but it'd be critical for Carson Newman to get some more points because as good as the defense has played, it's still just a one-score game. This was something that Carson Newman struggled with last year, converting turnovers into points. Eagles have it first and 10 at their own 13. McCowan and Wimbush, the split backs. It's a draw for Wimbush. Wimbush hits the hole, gets hit as he moves through it, and stumbles his way up to the 15 for a two-yard gain. Second down and eight to go. Antonio Wimbush, 59 yards rushing on the day now on all of six carries. He is just 21 yards away from matching Tyron Douglas for 11th on the all-time list. Second and eight Eagles toward the right hash at their own 15, leading 7-0. Evans takes the shot, the, the snap, airs it out. Deep ball to the right sideline for Westfield. Westfield trying to come back to get it. It's incomplete. Sherrod Oliver makes contact with him as the ball gets there and is able to dislodge it. Westfield had it in his hands, but he was hauling it in on top of Oliver's helmet. Third down, eight to go. Well, Oliver comes from that powerhouse of a program in Miami Northwestern. That's as good as it gets in the country in terms of producing high major talent. And he was right on Westfield the entire way. Excellent defensive coverage. Probably a little bit of pushing and shoving, but that went both ways. I do like that Carson Newman has taken two chances at Westfield here in this quarter or so far in this first half. I think they need to continue to do that to keep this defensive backfield honest. One man in the backfield for the Eagles on third and eight. Evans takes the snap, plenty of time. Pumps, now he'll run, right sideline across the 20. Slides down at the sticks and picks up the first down at the 23-yard line, evading the incoming Andre Duncombe Jr. A gain of eight and a first down, heady play by Derek Evans. It, it, it is, but we're not 100% sure that he got the first down. The ball is spotted almost on this near right sideline. The sticks are on the opposite side, and they give Carson Newman the first down. If you slide, it's where the ball is when you start your slide. If you dive, then it's where you, the ball ends up when you hit the surface. So that's where Evans needs to understand where the sticks are probably could have dove and made that a lot easier rather than having the officials need to halt action for a few seconds and double check. 12.42 to play first half, 7-0. Eagles in the driver's seat. Eagles have outgained West Florida, buck 70 to 50 in terms of total offense. Evans on first and 10, takes the snap, gives on a draw to Wimbush. Wimbush hops out of one tackle in the backfield, but he's immediately grabbed and wrenched down at the 21-yard line by Duncombe. A loss of two for Antonio Wimbush on the play. Back to the 21, second down and 12 to go. The Cade Insurance Agency is one of the oldest and most experienced insurance agencies in the Lakeway region. Visit CadeInsuranceAgency.com or call 865-475-3391 for a quote today. That's CadeInsuranceAgency.com. They are celebrating their 60th year to that, this year. Second and 12 for the Eagles. Right hash at their own 21, leading 7-0. Evans takes, pitches, left side McCowan. McCowan with blockers, hits the hole, drags a man up across the 25 into the boundary left side. And it's a four-yard gain for Drake McCowan, 2016 Gulf South Freshman of the Year. Trent Archie makes the stop, his first tackle of the day. And it's third down and eight to go. Carson Newman, three for four on third downs. They've converted on a pair of third and longs. See what they've got in store here. 
Problem has been, though, that they've been in these third and longer situations. It hasn't been necessarily as manageable on third down, so now you're asking a lot of your offense to try to pick up a first down. And Mike Turner wants to talk it over. So the Eagles call for time. We'll step out for a break as well. 11-19 to play in the second quarter. 7-0. Eagles lead it here on the Eagles Sports Network. Drive safer longer when you visit your local Michelin dealer, Fleet Tire, for a set of Michelin Defender Tires. Michelin is the brand drivers turn to for tire options that deliver a safe, quiet, and comfortable ride. Fleet Tire, Woodland Avenue, Exit 1B, Knoxville. Based on internal wet braking results versus Goodyear Assurance Comfort Tread Tires and third-party wear test results versus Continental Protract Tires with Eco Plus. See Manufacturer's Limited Warranty Book for details. Fleet Tire, Woodland Avenue. When Knoxville TVA Employees Credit Union opened 85 years ago, more convenient meant just being able to have an account. But today, more convenient means so much more. It means getting quick access to all your banking, make transfers, view real-time balances, and make deposits with our mobile app. Find out how much more convenient it is to be a member at Knoxville TVA Employees Credit Union. Learn more at tvacreditunion.com. Moving together through life, upward and forward. Federally insured by NCUA. Message and data rates may apply. Ask for details. Nothing doing for the Eagles on third and eight. Daryl Wilson is able to chase down Derek Evans for a sack in the backfield along the left sideline. Back at the 22-yard line for a loss of three, and the Eagles are forced to punt for the second time today. Eagles have a touchdown, a pair of punts, and lost a fumble inside the five. Arguably, this should be a 21-0 game. Instead, just 7-0 in favor of Carson Newman with 10.39 to play in the second quarter. Nate Kraft on to punt for the Eagles. He'll send it to Karan Ashley. Low snap. Kraft picks it up, gets a, off a wobbler. Ashley fields it at the 40, makes one man miss, makes another man miss, heads straight ahead over the left hashes and gets brought down up at the 39-yard line for a four-yard return. Zach Talley with the stop on the punt return. And West Florida takes over with first and 10 from its own 39-yard line. Argonauts move the ball the last run, but Ray Artibit, Arterbridge with a pick at the goal line. The reason why West Florida still shut out in this one. Well, for as well as Carson Newman has played so far in this football game, the ability to move the ball so far, 172 yards to just 50 from West Florida. It's really unfortunate that the Eagles are up just 7-0 because one big play from West Florida and we've got a whole new ball game. West Florida with trips to the wide side right. Gardner's in the game to the right of Reed in the gun. Play clock at 10. Shotgun snap back at the shoulders. Handoff up the middle, Gardner. Gardner hit from behind and dropped by Antonio Henderson up at the 42-yard line for a three-yard gain, second and seven. Carson Newman's had some really good years from linebackers the last few years. Of course, Sahim Stupart a couple years ago. It's Morris Coates last year. I think this is Antonio Henderson's season. He's a senior, one of the eight players on this Carson Newman roster that has been in a playoff situation. That was back in 2015. And I think that he can really have an All-American caliber season. 9.55 to play, second quarter, 7-0, Eagles up. West Florida with second and seven, left hash at its own 42. Reed from the gun, takes the snap at the chest, slips it out to the right sideline, complete to Litio in the flat, and he's punched out of bounds down at the Carson Newman 43-yard line by McDonald and Williams, 15 yards on the out route to the right sideline. First and 10 Argos. Well, there's a couple holes in Carson Newman's defensive backfield right now. It's been in those out routes and climb routes, about 12 to 15 yards down the field, either over the middle or on the outside, outside of the numbers that have been some empty soft spots for the Eagles. But I'll tell you what, Austin Reed looks really nice right now in the pocket. Reed in the pistol, Gardner behind him. Trips go to the wide side left. Lone man to the short side right. 
Gardner steps up to the left of Reed, makes it a shotgun. Reed, quarterback draw right up the middle, lowers his shoulders, finds Rondro Peebles, and pushes him over the right hashes down to the 38-yard line. Five yards, second and five. West Florida, a lot more offensive success. These last two possessions, they've got 68 yards of total offense, all but five of that on these last two drives. Reed's 6'1", 220. He's very athletic as well. He's moved around nicely in the pocket. He's run the ball effectively. He's a different aspect that the Eagles have to worry about now with this West Florida offense. Gardner to the right of Reed in the shotgun. Letio in motion to the wide side left. Second and five Argos from the Eagle 38. Reed back to pass. Lofts it to the left sideline for Grant. Caught in stride, complete inside the 15. And Darius Williams forces him out of bounds down at the 11 yard line. Loads of space for Kevin Grant. And it's a 27 yard hookup from Reed to Grant. He's four for five for 58 yards through the air now. Well, it's man to man coverage. Darius Williams had him the entire way and never could quite stick with him. Reed since coming into the ball game as well. Now four for five through the air for 58 yards. He's also rushed the ball three times for 20 yards. West Florida has their quarterback so far. 8-10 to play, second quarter, 7-0, Eagles up. Gardner behind Reed in the pistol. Two wideouts each way. Now Reed has Gardner come up to the right, and Gardner splits out to the right. Flags fly, movement as Gardner was dancing. This will be a false start. So West Florida should be penalized here. Or did they call a timeout before a potential penalty? There's no foul in the play. Timeout, West Florida. That's their first charge timeout of the half. So the Argonauts burn a timeout. We'll step aside for a break, break as well. Eight minutes to play, second quarter. Eagles up 7-0, but the Argonauts on the move here on the Eagles Sports Network. Serving East Tennessee for 40 years, Magaha Electric is the perfect choice for all your electrical projects. Magaha Electric specializes in commercial, retail, manufacturing, residential, and industrial contracting needs. Magaha Electric can provide superior service, technical know-how, and realistic budgeting for any size project in a timely, cost-effective manner. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all your electrical contracting needs. Magaha Electric, your East Tennessee electrical contracting source. I joined the Guard for the simple fact that I could be home and also in the military. So I can have a civilian job and also in the military. Fire I would tell somebody who's trying to join the Guard, if you're thinking about it, uh, that it's a great opportunity. Opportunities for school, uh, training, discipline, leadership. There's a lot of opportunities. It, it broadens your spectrum. Of Text 278 ACR to 70000 to join the Tennessee Army National Guard. First and 10 Argonauts. They've got it left hash at the Eagle 11, trying to tie up this 7 0 ball game. It's a jump ball to Grant, left side of the end zone, incomplete as Desmond Farrell went toe to toe with him. Reed throws his second incompletion of the day. And it's second and 10 for the Argonauts from the Carson Newman 11. 7.56 to play second quarter. Eagles up 7-0 on the strength of a two-yard Antonio Wimbush rush late in the first quarter. Grant 6-4, 2 They're going to throw the ball up to him in the red zone. Any opportunity that they get. This is a huge possession here for this Carson Newman defense. If you can stiffen and hold to a field goal, you feel good about things. But if West Florida is able to stick it in the end zone, Carson Newman's offense that's dominated has some work to do. Trips to the wide side right for the Argos on second and 10. Left hash at the Eagle 11. Reed takes the snap. Quarterback draw. Tries the right side. Has space. Gets to the five. Meets a Carson Newman defender and pushes him out of bounds along the right sideline down at the, call it three yard line. Eight yards as Williams forces him out in a hard, heady run by Austin Reed. Third down, two to go. Argonauts can get a first down here at the Eagle three. Well, Brian Bembry too overly aggressive, and then Alonzo Houston missed a tackle. Two opportunities where Carson Newman could have had him right around the line of scrimmage. Instead, Reed was able to make a man miss and then get to the outside, and now a huge third down situation here. You feel like it's got to be four down situation unless there's a penalty that really backs him up. West Florida just scored touchdowns on 46% of its red zone trips a year ago. Third and one from the three. Hand off Newton straight ahead. Newton lowers his shoulder and surges in. Touchdown, Argonauts. 
Jervon Newton, the Marist transfer, scores for the first time in his West Florida career, and the Argonauts, a PAT away from tying this one up after the three-yard touchdown plunge. Well, just simple stuff right there. They go right at the middle, line blocks down. Opportunity. One man is blocking two Carson Newman players, and Jaquan Smith just couldn't shed a blocker, get into the backfield and stiffen right around the two-yard line. And by being unable to get away from a blocker, it's a touchdown. Just like that, we'll have a new, whole new football game. Austin Williams on for the point after attempt. All-American two years ago and top ten all-time in terms of career-made field goals in the Gulf South. Snap is back, hold is down, Williams kick, bounces oh. off the upright and off to the right, no good. So a guy who has been pretty automatic for his career, misfires there, and the Eagles still lead at 7-6 to six with 7-19 to play in the second quarter. We're back to Burke Tarr after this on the Eagles Sports Network. Hello, my name is Phil Jones. I'm the senior pastor at First Baptist Powell. You know, in life, there are two approaches. The first approach says that God exists for me. He exists to make me happy. The second approach says that I exist for God. I exist to glorify Him. And it's in that second approach that we find genuine, true joy. That's the approach we take at First Baptist Powell. Join us this Sunday at 1030. We look forward to seeing you. Carson Newman Eagle football has been playing football since the 1880s. Well, Vaughn Pharmacy hadn't been around that long, but they're both great East Tennessee institutions. Vaughn Pharmacy is proud to support Carson Newman Eagle football. Dwight Disney and his staff do an excellent job making sure you and your family get the medicines you need. Hi, this is Bob Bell. They've always taken care of us. They'll take care of you. Vaughn Pharmacy, across the road from Powell High School in the heart of Powell. 7-6, Carson Newman leads it with 7-19 to go in the second quarter. Newton, a three-yard touchdown run, finishes off a seven-play, 56-yard drive in 3-0-4 for the Argos, but Williams misses the PAT, and Carson Newman still leads it. Marcus Williams will return this kick from the one-yard line along the right sideline. Williams shaking, baking a man across the 30, 35, carrying defenders across the 40 over the numbers right side, and finally forced down up at the 42 by Chris Sakamoto, six foot, 225 pound red shirt senior linebacker. Dynamic return for Marcus Williams, bringing it out 40 yards and giving the Eagles good field position at their own 42. Eagles need to counter punch here. Yeah, if I'm Carson Newman, I'm feeling frisky. I'm throwing the ball deep. I'm trying to get Braxton Westfield a touch deep down the football field here on first down because this is the opportunity to take a, take a chance. You're right around midfield. Throw the ball down the field. Westfield's got one-on-one -on -one coverage here on the near right sideline against Clayton. Johnson and Jackson, the split backs behind Evans. McCare of the tight end in motion to the left on first and 10 from the Carson Newman 42. Evans takes, option to the left side. Evans fakes the pitch, he'll jet. Evans across the 45 and 40. Evans in a foot race across the 30. A defender dives at his feet as he crosses the 20 and angles out of bounds along the left sideline down at the 16 yard line. Givens with the force out late, but Derek Evans with the wheels to get Carson Newman into the West Florida red zone down to the 16 yard line, a gain of 42 yards. That play's been set up over the last 18, 19 minutes. Eagles have been pitching pretty much every single time. Three defenders went to the outside, and Derek Evans faked the pitch, moved it up the football field, and now Carson Newman back in the red zone. Can they stick it in? Eagles looking to counterpunch here. After West Florida goes seven plays and 56 yards. First and 10 Eagles, left hash at the West Florida 16. Hand off on a trap to Jackson. Hurdles one man at the line of scrimmage and lands, falling forward between the hashes down to the 12. A four-yard gain. Ty Cox up into Jackson. Well, that's the beauty of Carson Newman's offense. That play barely got going, but Jackson was able to flop forward and get four yards out of it. So the Eagles in second and manageable now. You got two Johnson in there as well. I think this is an opportunity. He nearly had a touchdown earlier in the game, fell a yard short. Wimbush had to stick it in. I think this is Johnson's opportunity. Second down, six to go for the Eagles. Ball middle of the field at the West Florida 12. Evans takes. It's a midline quarterback option, and Evans picks up the first down, down to the six running between the hashes. Chandler Ferguson, the man that stops him, down at the six, a gain of six. And a first down for the Eagles. Midline draw works for Derek Evans. I like it. I like what the Eagles are doing here on this possession, and I like the way they're running the ball. I don't, I don't know if they've actually ran a true dive play. 
so far no. in this game. They've done a lot of different things in the backfield. First and goal from the six. Johnson and Jackson, the splitbacks. Evans takes. There's the dive. Evans fakes it, ends up keeping it, and just a yard down to the five-yard line. Jordan, the first man there. He called for the dive, and there was the bread and butter play, and West Florida was ready for it. Just a yard, second and goal from the five. Oh, I think here, here's where we get that halfback lead. I think this is a great opportunity to run what you were able to run earlier in the football game to get a touchdown out of it, and you try to do that lead play. The big boys come in for West Florida, and that includes a 6'1", 320-pound junior in Cotilla Delgado. Good hyphenated last name situation. Solid first name, last name combo two. Second goal from the five for the Eagles. Evans under center with Jackson and Johnson, the split backs. Reese, the tight end in motion to the wide side left. Evans takes, he'll keep it on another midline draw, and West Florida hits him from behind. A gain of maybe a half a yard. Kelly, the man that blasted him. Call it a no gain at the five, third and goal. Well, Coach Pete Shinnick talked about how big his defensive line is this year. They start three guys up front that are 280 plus. They have the size that he really hasn't had in his first couple of years with the Argos. Now let's see if Carson Newman's offensive line is able to block. Third and goal from the five. Evans takes, option to the right side. Evans keeps it, lurches forward, and gets hit by Ferguson at the the waist knocks him down to the three. Two-yard gain and four down territory here, Michael Watchering, or do you let Nate Kraft pooch it in? I mean, I'm going for it, but, you know, I'm, I'm a gambler. You know, I, I like rolling the dice in these situations. But Mike Turner wants to, to get the new kicker out there and give him an opportunity to put points on the board. I, but, honestly, that's all set up by the inability to get yards on first and second down. If you're able to get down to the two, you probably do go for it. But the fact that you're only able to get three yards on three plays – you think to yourself, let's take the points. Kraft on for his first career collegiate field goal. Snap is back. UD's hole is down. And Kraft's kick is pure. All good for Nate Kraft. The Salem, Virginia native pushes the Eagles lead back to four. It's 10-6 Carson Newman with 331 to play in the second quarter. We return to Burktar Stadium after these messages on the Eagles Sports Network. Best tailgate? It's got to be burgers. And an ice cold Coke. Real football. Y pollo asado. Hoops and wings. It subs. Nah, hot dog. No, Dodger dog. I'll drink to that. Pass me a Coke. It's got to be crawfish. Mac and cheese. No, seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Um, what? You need a hot grill and an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke. Come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day? Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. It's tailgate 101. Domino's Pizza in Jefferson City and Morristown wants to help feed your business. When you're hungry at lunch, show your business card at Domino's in Jefferson City and Morristown when you make your purchase for pickup or delivery to get 25% off the entire order. That's 25% off your order at Domino's in Jeff City and Morristown when you show your business card. Call 865-471-6700 to get a pizza. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. 331 to play in the first half. It's a 10-6 lead for Carson Newman over West Florida. Nate Kraft boots a 20-yard field goal to finish off a seven-play 55-yard drive in 339. But the Eagles had it first and goal at the five. As Clayton is deep to receive Kraft's kickoff. Clayton backs up five yards deep in the end zone, catches it between the A and E and Eagles, and promptly takes an E for the touchback. And Big situation here for West Florida. A chance to potentially go two for one, 331 on the clock, and the Argonauts do get the football to start the second half. Well, the two offensive possessions in which Austin Reed has been able to manage since he's been out there timeout. have gone eight plays, 58 yards, and seven plays, 56 yards. So he's been able to manufacture some good offensive drives. Hey, Eagle fans, check out Carson Newman Athletics' official online store at shopseeandeagles.com. Shopseeandeagles.com features more than 1,100 products from T-shirts and polos to phone skins and pet collars. Shopseeandeagles.com It's the official online store of the Carson Newman Eagles. Always a chance to get some branded candy, some uh, sour cherry balls that we are big fans of here on the Eagles Sports Network. Makes for a great Christmas present. Uh, now's the time, never too early, to start Christmas shopping. Head over to shopseeandeagles.com and get yourself some sour cherry balls. Uh, 
big recommendation here from the ESN, of course. Uh, plenty of items to choose from for your loved one who loves orange and blue. Uh, big drive here, Michael, for, for West Florida. If you're the Argonauts, really a chance to make things interesting if you can put points on the board. And uh, I think another interesting aspect of things here, too, I mean, a three and out. If Kirsten Newman's defense yeah. can get a big three and out, maybe you got a chance to put some points on the board in your direction. I mean, this game has, honestly, the exact same kind of feel as we had a year ago. It was a 9-6 game at halftime. Carson Newman had the lead, missed some opportunities early. West Florida's offense was sputtering. Very much the same kind of feel. What's big here on this possession? Like you said, if West Florida can get the ball down the field, get some points on the board before half, they get the ball to start the second half, and they're in the driver's seat. If Carson Newman's defense steps up, maybe gets a few points in their own right, things change. This is a huge possession in this game. West Florida with the football. First and 10 at its own 25 at the right hash. Johnson is to the right of Reed in the gun. Three wide set, or four wide set trips to the wide side left. Reed back to pass, airs out the deep ball to Litio over the left sideline, and that's incomplete. Litio got twisted around, broke in instead of breaking out. Darius Williams was step for step with him the entire way as well as Demarcus Jones, but uh, it was almost like a punt with the way Letio ran. He ran Williams and McDonald away from the ball. Yeah, it almost looked like maybe it was an option route and maybe he was supposed to go to the corner. Or Reed just felt like, yeah, there's nobody open, I'm running out of time. Let's just chuck it towards the sideline and call it a day. So a wasted first down play and it only took six seconds off the clock. 10 20, or 3.25 to play second quarter. 10-6, Eagles lead it. Second and 10, Argos, right hash at their own 25. Snap is over Reed's head. Reed slides down and grabs it back at the 15-yard line. A loss of 10 on the snap from Devin Gibson that shot over his dome. Third and 20. Well, Mike Turner is going to keep one of his two remaining timeouts in his pocket because here on third and 20, you would feel like this is an opportunity for West Florida just to run clock, take it all the way down and then run it. It's not a bad decision for Mike Turner. You hold on to that timeout to be able to sprint the field goal unit on if you're able to do so. But this is a big situation here for the Eagles. You got to be disciplined, can't have any penalties. Third down, 20 to go for the Argos. Right hash at their own 15-yard line. Reed from the gun with Johnson to his left. Takes the shotgun snap, stands in, now runs to the right, throws to the right, comeback route, Letio, he dropped it, incomplete. Demarcus Jones was in cover. Tate Letio had it in his paws. Should have had the first down. Broke off his route, came back to the football, but just didn't have the hands. Well, I think that ball was meant for the underneath receiver, and the ball was just hovering to the sideline, and it's very fortunate. Demarcus Jones got his hands in there. It almost looked like Letio wasn't expecting it, was surprised by it, stuck his hands up, caught it, and then Jones swiped down at it, put it on the ground. Big incompletion. Eagles save the two timeouts, and with 2.34 to go, should get pretty good field position. Now West Florida doesn't even milk a minute off the clock. 10-6, Eagles in front with 2.34 to play in the second quarter. Dawson Hamlin on to punt, and whistles blow this dead before it can even get rolling. Did the clock start prematurely, potentially? It definitely looks like it, because seven seconds came off the clock before the ball was even snapped. Uh, they have game, offense, All right. number 12. Five-yard penalty remains fourth down. I was just going to guess that Dawson Hamlin had that good of hang time. Seven <laughs> seconds? I mean, put him in the league. So back it up five yards to the 10 instead. Well, that's going to help Carson Newman's situation. If the Eagles don't get the ball around midfield or even in plus territory here, that means this is a great punt. And Des Farrell certainly has some options and some room to work with. Eagles should be setting up the return. Hamlin already has a 56-yarder to his name today. He gets this one away. It is gorgeous. It'll cross midfield, bounce at the 49, take a Carson Newman hop back across the 50, side spin to the left sideline, and be down at the 49-yard line by Duncan. is a 39-yard boot. And first and 10, Carson Newman from... The 49-yard line of West Florida. Well, that's big because typically you see punts like that bounce and then carry them in the wrong direction if you're Carson Newman. But that's very fortunate that it bounced backward because that drives you nuts as a coach. Call for the fair catch, get underneath it, catch the football. But instead, hovers around midfield, 2.22 to go, two timeouts. Opportunity to put points on the board before halftime. Wimbush and McCowan, the split backs behind Evans. Two wide receivers, Westfield and Kelly. 
to the right. Evans back to pass, hits Westfield on the out route, complete at the 45. Westfield, a spin move, stays on his feet. First down yardage across the 35, over the numbers right sideline and down to the 32 where he's finally brought down after a gain of 17. Kedrick Bradley finally got his paws on him, but Braxton Westfield, a man's run. Good yak yardage there. Yeah, first career catch for Westfield, able to turn it up the field as well. That's the dynamic ability that he has that this Carson Newman offense lacked last season. And if they can get Westfield involved, this thing can open up. Wimbush and McCowan, the split backs behind Evans. First and 10, West Florida, 32. Evans takes, and that goes nowhere. Evans fakes the dive, and he wore that one on the chin. Loss of two, back to the 34, second and 12. Ian Bush did a great job shooting the gap, six feet, 275, a redshirt senior. Georgia Southern transfer, not quite the Georgia State program that just beat the balls over the weekend, but still a solid program there with Georgia Southern. Second and 12 Eagles, middle of the field at the West Florida 34. Straight drop for Evans, looks to throws. Right sideline, it's complete to Romaine Kelly at the 25. Shake and bake move out of bounds down to the 24. Just a yard after the catch, but it goes for 10 yards, makes it a manageable third and two. I like it. You get to the outside, you stop the clock with a buck 26 to go, and now you're in third and two. You can run the football, pick up the first down, continue to trot your way down. If Carson Newman can get a touchdown, you feel great about how you played in that first half. A field goal solid, no points here, and West Florida has to feel good about what they've been able to accomplish. 86 seconds left first half, 10-6, Eagles lead it over the Argonauts. Third and two, right hash at the Argonaut 24. Wimbush and Metcow in the splitbacks. Toss, right, right side, Wimbush. Wimbush has the first down. Juke move left across the 20. And he's brought down at the 19 by TJ Limehouse as Wimbush had to hop over Drake McCowan. That stopped his progress. Regardless, good enough for five yards and a first down. Antonio Wimbush, 62 yards, 18 away from 11th on the all-time list. I liked for him to get out of bounds in that situation. He didn't need to cut it back up the field, get out of bounds, stop the clock, and get the offense back out there. But you're in the red zone here with 65 ticks to go. Wimbush and McCowan split backs behind Evans, first and 10 from the... West Florida 19, handoff on a trap left side, McCowan. McCowan just a yard down to the 18, running between the hashes, and Mike Turner burns a timeout. Matthew Gotell with the stop after the yard gain. So it's second down, nine to go on the other side of this timeout Carson Newman. from That's Mike Turner. Time out of the half. I think Mike Turner was really intelligent there, showed that seasoned veteran. You're going to run the draw, see if maybe he can bust one off 10, 12 yards. But the fact that you're unable to do so in that situation, you got the two timeouts, burn the one here, and then you get a chance to talk about it with your team. You got two plays to work with, try to get it inside the 10-yard line and maybe take a chance or two into the end zone. This is a shout out to all the tailgaters. While we may not all agree on the best game day foods, when you serve your meals with an ice cold Coca-Cola, Coke Zero Sugar, or Coke Life, you know you've got yourself a winner. Coca-Cola, taste the feeling. 58 seconds left in the first half. It's a 10-6 lead for the Eagles. Carson Newman scored on its third possession, an Antonio Wimbush two-yard touchdown run, and then scored again on its fifth possession. Seven plays, 55 yards. Nate Kraft, a 50-yard or a 20-yard field goal. Now here on possession number six, Eagles trying to split the difference and score three times on six first-half possessions. 10-6, Eagles lead it with 58 seconds left in the first half. Johnson and Wimbush, the split backs behind Evans. Westfield split to the left, Kelly to the right. Ball nearly equidistant between the hashes with... McCare of the tight end to the right of the line. Evans drops down under center. Brings everybody set and takes the snap. Straight drop for Evans. Looks to throw. Out to the left side to Braxton Westfield. That's incomplete. Overplay defense, to borrow the term from basketball, from T.J. Williams. And it's third down and eight to go for the Eagles. It's good coverage. Good coverage on the outside. Opportunity to try to get Braxton Westfield open. I think maybe if that ball comes out a step earlier, you probably get the completion, but instead you don't. Good safe route as well for Carson Newman to do it. Third down situation here. Wouldn't be surprised if maybe the Eagles kept it on the ground in this situation. Not a lot of room on that side, and you've been able to run the ball pretty effectively. Wimbush and Johnson, the split backs behind Evans. Devon Moore, man in motion to the left. On third and eight, Evans rolls the pocket left. Goes to Westfield in the back left corner of the end zone. Incomplete and a lot of jockeying there 
Westfield looking for the flag. TJ Williams with solid coverage. But the flag stays in the official's pocket, and it's fourth and nine after the incompletion. 48.1 seconds left. And Nate Kraft will be called on again for what will be a 35-yard field goal. He was good from 20 his last time. Chance to make it another touchdown game. Not bad, though. I mean, if you're Carson Newman in this situation, you feel like you can take the points. You'd obviously love to would've, would have loved to score a touchdown, but instead you have to settle for a field goal attempt. You're right in the middle of the field. You don't mess with that at all. Campbell will snap. He puts it back. UD puts it down. Kraft puts it up. And through. So Nick Kraft buries his second kick of the day. A 35-yarder. And the Eagles stretch the lead back to a touchdown. 13-6. Carson Newman the advantage with 43.7 seconds left in the first half here on the Eagles Sports Network. Convenient meant just being able to have an account. But today, more convenient means so much more. It means getting quick access to all your banking, make transfers, view real-time balances, and make deposits with our mobile app. Find out how much more convenient it is to be a member at Knoxville TVA Employees Credit Union. Learn more at tvacreditunion.com. Moving together through life, upward and forward. Federally insured by NCUA. Message and data rates may apply. Ask for details. WRJZ Knoxville. Clayton will see Nate Kraft's kickoff sail through the end zone, and West Florida takes over with 43.7 seconds left, trailing Carson Newman 13 to 6 here at Berktar Stadium. Nate Kraft, two for two on kicks today, a 35-yard boot from dead center middle of the field, finishes off an eight-play 31-yard drive in 99 seconds, and West Florida takes over first and 10 at its own 25-yard line. Newton is the single setback for the Argonauts who appear set to take a knee. And head into the halftime locker room down a touchdown. Very fortuitous to be down just a touchdown. Eagles fumbled the football inside of their five on one possession and had a 77-yard touchdown catch to Braxton Westfield call back. And Timeout. Carson Newman, that is their third and final timeout. Eagles burn a timeout, not entirely certain for what reason there, but. They had 11 on the field, so it wasn't an issue there. Not certain if somebody was shaken up. West Florida was in the kneel down position. Hey, Eagle fans, serving East Tennessee for 40 years, Magaha Electric is the perfect choice for all your electrical projects. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all your electrical contracting needs. Magaha Electric, they are your East Tennessee electrical contracting source. Michael Watrang, solid first half for Carson Newman, 255 yards of total offense, 212 on the ground, and just what you'd expect from Toot Johnson, Derek Evans, and Antonio Wimbush. Those four have combined for 199 of those 212 yards rushing. Yeah, and I mean, if you're Carson Newman, I think you have to be really happy with how you've been able to play. 212 yards rushing, as you mentioned, that's eight yards a pop here so far in this football game. But you've only been able to score 13 points. You've made some mistakes. Obviously, that first possession is really going to stick with you going into halftime because it could be 16-6, to six, maybe 20-6, to six if you're able to get a touchdown out of that. Unfortunate that you weren't able to. So Reed is under center in an A set. He'll hand off to Newton straight ahead, and Newton goes topsy-turvy. Knocked down at the knees by Antonio Henderson, a yard in the backfield for a loss of one. Back to the 24-yard line. And West Florida does not need to run another play unless it so chooses. So it'll bring to a close a quality first half. Got to like the defense. Under 100 yards of total offense if you're Carson Newman. But, man, the holding play on the Westfield touchdown grab, the fumble inside the five, 
even the field goal where you had the ball first and goal at five and you couldn't punch it in, that's probably a little frustrating. You know, I think at the same time, though, like for a first game, after everything yeah. that we saw last year, you probably feel okay. I mean, obviously you don't want those penalties, but those are the penalties that you see every single week. I yeah. mean, those are just kind of your, your – middle of the season, your nickel-dimer penalties that you would prefer not to have, but they happen. Overall, a fairly clean first half of football, a mistake or two here or there for Carson Newman, but some things to build upon. And now you look at the second half, which coaching staff makes the adjustments? Last year is West Florida. Eagles 69 yards total offense in the second half last season. Let's see if they're able to make those adjustments this year. At the break, it's Carson Newman 13 and West Florida 6. ShopSeatEagles.com halftime reports up next after this on the Eagles Sports Network. Don't know what to wear on game day? Head over to ShopSeaAndEagles.com for all of your Carson Newman Athletics gear. You can find clothing from Adidas, Columbia, Nike, and Under Armour to cover you from head to toe. ShopSeaAndEagles.com also has duffel bags, backpacks, jewelry, pet supplies, and gifts. Don't waste any more time. Prove you are the ultimate Carson Newman fan with the official gear of the Eagles at ShopSeaAndEagles.com. Visit today. At the Kate Insurance Agency, our focus is you. The Kate Insurance Agency offers personalized protection plans to cover your auto, home, business, or life and health. At Kate Insurance, our goal is to partner with you in determining your insurance needs and to provide the best customer service. At Kate Insurance, we believe that loyalty is a quality that is earned. You are important to us. Call 865-475-3391 for a quote today or visit Kate Insurance Agency Dot com. Touchdown! Come More in. great and human memories are headed your way in 60 seconds on the Eagle Sports Network. Hello, my name is Phil Jones. I'm the senior pastor at First Baptist Powell. You know, in life, there are two approaches. First approach says that God exists for me. He exists to make me happy. The second approach says that I exist for God. I exist to glorify Him. And it's in that second approach that we find genuine, true joy. That's the approach we take at First Baptist Powell. Join us this Sunday at 1030. We look forward to seeing you. Carson Newman Eagle football has been playing football since the 1880s. Well, Vaughn Pharmacy hadn't been around that long, but they're both great East Tennessee institutions. Vaughn Pharmacy is proud to support Carson Newman Eagle football. Dwight Disney and his staff do an excellent job making sure you and your family get the medicines you need. Hi, this is Bob Bell. They've always taken care of us. They'll take care of you. Vaughn Pharmacy, across the road from Powell High School in the heart of Powell. It's halftime on the Eagles Sports Network. Highlights, scores, and stats are headed your way. Right ahead! Touchdown, Carson Newman! Now, let's head back to the field. Here's the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. All right, back at Burktar Stadium. Adam Cavalier, glad to have you alongside here on the ShopCNEagles.com halftime report where Carson Newman leads West Florida 13-6, to a first half that potentially obscures just how dominant Carson Newman was in terms of the score. Eagles outgain the Argonauts 255 yards to 95 yards of total offense. 212 yards on the ground for the Eagles, and Derek Evans 5 of 8 through the air for 43 yards. A 77-yard touchdown pass to Braxton Westfield called back due to a hold. Eagles lost a fumble inside the 5. Uh, really, this game could be 27 to six, if not for those two plays for Carson Newman. Eagles score three times. First came on the third drive of the game. Antonio Wimbush pushes it in from two yards out to finish, finish off a two-play, 53-yard drive in a minute one second, and that gave Carson Newman a seven-nothing lead. West Florida would throw a pick on its next possession at the goal line. But the Eagles couldn't take advantage, punt it after getting out to the 22. West Florida counters with a seven-play, 56-yard drive, takes 3.54 off the clock, and Newton pushes it in from three yards out. But from there, Eagles in charge the rest of the way on the leg of Nate Kraft. He kicks a 20-yard field goal to make it a 10-6 ball game with just over three and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. 
and then finishes out the scoring in the first half uh, with a 35-yard boot, an eight-play, 35-yard drive, takes 99 seconds off the clock, and that's where we stand at halftime. It's Carson Newman 13 and West Florida 6. Mark Mausner's got a ShopSeeingEagles.com sack scoreboard update for you when we come back. That's after this on the Eagles Sports Network. Power in numbers is more than just a catchphrase. It's a way of building community. At your Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, we are your energy community, and the power we provide is much more than a way to keep the lights on. It's how you plug into the friends and neighbors that make up your local co-op, working together to create a different kind of power network, one that puts members first. Sure, you can go it alone, but there's power in numbers. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, AEC, powered by the people you know. Hi, this is Carson Newman head football coach Mike Turner. When you come to Carson Newman for a game, there's only one place to eat, Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's Country Kitchen has the best food for the best prices. I can tell you, after eating here for nearly 15 years, Lisa's is the most family-friendly restaurant in the Lakeway area. Stop by and tell Lisa I sent you, and go Eagles. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. A check of the ShopCNEagles.com sack scoreboard is next. This is the Eagles Sports Network. Drive safer longer when you visit your local Michelin dealer, Fleet Tire, for a set of Michelin Defender tires. Michelin is the brand drivers turn to for tire options that deliver a safe, quiet, and comfortable ride. Fleet Tire, Woodland Avenue, exit 1B, Knoxville. Based on internal wet braking results versus Goodyear Assurance, Comfort Tread tires, and third-party wear test results versus Continental ProTrack tires with Eco Plus. See Manufacturer's Limited Warranty Book for details. Fleet Tire, Woodland Avenue. When Knoxville TVA Employees Credit Union opened 85 years ago, more convenient meant just being able to have an account. But today, more convenient means so much more. It means getting quick access to all your banking, make transfers, view real-time balances, and make deposits with our mobile app. Find out how much more convenient it is to be a member at Knoxville TVA Employees Credit Union. Learn more at tvacreditunion.com. Moving together through life, upward and forward. Federally insured by NCUA. Message and data rates may apply. Ask for details. Here's a glimpse at what's happening around the South Atlantic Conference and the nation. It's time for a ShopCNEagles.com scoreboard update. Now back to the field. And welcome back to Burktar Stadium. I'm Mark Mausner here with your South Atlantic Conference scoreboard update. And uh, just to give you the most important update here on our Carson Newman Eagles broadcast, Eagles 13 and West Florida 6 here uh, through the first half of play here at Mossy Creek. Let's give you the rundown of some of the scores around the South Atlantic Conference. We will start where Wingate is fa facing off against Johnson C. Smith. And it is a 6-0 game there. And again, remember, Wingate is coming off a 9-4 season, including being 5-2 in conference play. They have the third-best defense in the conference uh, last season in the sack behind Tusculum and Newberry. So far, again, shutting out Johnson C. Smith, and so they're continuing to have a stalwart of a defense. The Eagles, remember, fans will travel to Wingate on Saturday, September 21st, after a bye week next week. The Carson Newman fans, be sure to keep an eye on this game as Wingate will be coming up after this game here against the University of West Florida. And for information on Johnson C. Smith, they went 2-8 and eight last season. The Golden Bulls are a member of the Central Intercollegiate Athletic Association. Other games going on around the South Atlantic Conference. Newberry is uh, hosting North Greenville in Tigerville. That game kicked off at 7. Remember last year the Wolves went 5-6 and six overall despite having the number one ranked defense in the sack so far. They are the ones being shut out 3-0 against North Greenville. And taking a look at some of the stats for Newberry, Dre Harris has uh, nine catches uh, for, for, 101, for 101 yards, no touchdowns so far. Um, for the North Greenville, it is London Johnson with 87 yards passing so far on 10 attempts there. And again, just a 3-0 ball game, North Greenville leading there. 
We'll move on to Tusculum, who is visiting Delta State. That game kicked off at 7. Some background into info on the Tusculum Pioneers. They have a well-established team. They're returning eight starters on defense and seven on offense, including all-region and all-sack junior linebacker Ivan Hogans and all-sack running back Jordan Shippey. And so far, uh, they are just getting underway late in the... Uh, rather early in the second quarter. They lead 6-0 over Delta State. And so low scoring first halves all across the South Atlantic Conference. And that will do it for some of the games that are going on today here on Friday around the conference. A couple of games kicking off tomorrow, Saturday. A couple of noon starts where UVA Wise will host Chowan. Catawba will kick off at home against West Georgia. The Indians are looking to move on from a disappointing 2018 campaign where the team finished uh, just 4-7 and seven overall in the conference. And that'll do it for the SAC scoreboard update here on the ShopCNEagles.com halftime show. Coming up next, we will give you some information on what's going on around Carson Newman Athletics other than football. The Carson Newman Lady Eagles, the soccer team is over in Louisville right now playing against Bellamy, so we'll give you an update there. And then, of course, we will have Adam Cavalier and Michael Watrank wrap up first half stats and final thoughts before the kickoff for the second half here at Burke Tar Stadium. About 10 minutes to go until the second half of action starts here. So stick with us right here on the ShopCNEagles.com halftime report. This is the Eagle Sports Network. Baptist Powell. Join us this Sunday at 1030. We look forward to seeing you. Carson Newman Eagle football has been playing football since the 1880s. Well, Vaughn Pharmacy hadn't been around that long, but they're both great East Tennessee institutions. Vaughn Pharmacy is proud to support Carson Newman Eagle football. Dwight Disney and his staff do an excellent job making sure you and your family get the medicines you need. Hi, this is Bob Bell. They've always taken care of us. They'll take care of you. Vaughn Pharmacy, across the road from Powell High School in the heart of Powell. And welcome back inside the ShopCNEagles.com halftime show. I'm Mark Mausner. We're about seven minutes away from kickoff for the second half between the Carson Newman Eagles and the West Florida Argonauts right now, CN leading 13 to six. And right now we'll just bring you around the scoreboard of non-football Carson Newman athletics and only one team in action right now. It is the Carson Newman women's soccer team. Right now they are encroaching upon the 70th minute over in Louisville where they are playing their season debut, their opening game against the Bellarmine Knights. And right now your Carson Newman Eagles actually trail one nothing uh, after a goal by Annabelle Moore, that is her first goal, of course, of the season. Assist coming from Isabel Zamberini and Ellie Vandergriff. That shot coming from eight yards out there. And Carson Newman, while they do trail again 1-0, 
about 20 minutes to go in that contest over in Louisville against the Bellarmine Knights. Uh, they have been able to hold their own. Both teams tied at six shots apiece on goal, although the Eagles are being outshot 12 to 8. And of course, two assists on that, two, on that goal for the Bellarmine Knights. And the Carson Newman women's soccer team will be back in action this Sunday at 2 p.m. against Young Harris. And yours truly, Mark Pausner, that is I, will be on the call for that contest. And be sure to keep up with that game on Carson Newman's streaming as well as Carson Newman Athletics social media. Well, that'll do it for me here on the CNEagles.com halftime show. Coming up next, we will throw it right back to Adam Cavalier. He has his final first half thoughts and a couple of stats for you as well as we uh, continue on again about under six minutes to go until kickoff of the second half between Carson Newman and West Florida. Stick with us right here on the CNEagles.com halftime show. This is the Eagles Sports Network. We select our insurance companies the same way you do, very carefully. When you work with us, you can count on receiving fast, courteous, and professional service and quality protection through auto owner's insurance. For a no-problem approach for your life, home, car, and business insurance needs, ask us about the no-problem company, Auto Owner's Insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency at 423-586-4320 or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. Serving the Lakeway area's insurance needs since 1931. Domino's Pizza in Jefferson City has deals for Carson Newman students. Bring in your valid student ID when you order for pickup or delivery, and Domino's in Jefferson City will give you a steaming hot large one-topping pizza for $4.99. That's a large one-topping pizza for Carson Newman students for $4.99 at Domino's in Jeff City. Call 865-471-6700 to order. That's 865-471-6700. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. The home run hitter to Dorian Miller, 70 yards. This is Carson Newman football on the Eagles Sports Network. Drive safer longer when you visit your local Michelin dealer, Fleet Tire, for a set of Michelin Defender tires. Michelin is the brand drivers turn to for tire options that deliver a safe, quiet, and comfortable ride. Fleet Tire, Woodland Avenue, exit 1B, Knoxville, based on internal wet braking results versus Goodyear Assurance Comfort Tread tires and third-party wear test results versus Continental ProTrack tires with Eco Plus. See Manufacturer's Limited Warranty Book for details. Fleet Tire, Woodland Avenue. When Knoxville TVA Employees Credit Union opened 85 years ago, more convenient meant just being able to have an account. But today, more convenient means so much more. It means getting quick access to all your banking, make transfers, view real-time balances, and make deposits with our mobile app. Find out how much more convenient it is to be a member at Knoxville TVA Employees Credit Union. Learn more at tvacreditunion.com. Moving together through life, upward and forward. Federally insured by NCUA. Message and data rates may apply. Ask for details. Back at Burktar Stadium, Adam Cavalier alongside Michael Watch right here on an immaculate night to start the college football season. And a first half that really could have been a kick in the mouth pants to Carson Newman. Uh, but the Eagles had a fumble, had a penalty wipe off a 77-yard touchdown run. But when life gives you lemons, you get Nate Kraft. He kicks two field goals, and Carson Newman's up 13-6 to at the halftime break. And, man, really reminds you of the TV show Dinosaurs back in the late 90s. When you're saying, not the mama. Carson Newman, the mama tonight, up front seven at the halftime break on the Argonauts. Really high-level first half for the Eagles, Michael, especially offensively. Yeah, a absolutely. And I think that there's still some work to do to get down to the bottom of the ham bone. Uh, you know, I think that in the locker room they were able to get in their black cherry buys, uh, you know, really hydrate themselves. Uh, they try to get ready for this one. Um, you know, I think Mike Turner's big message was you got to do the cooking by the book. I think that you have to be able to run the football just like the recipe has been for Mike Turner for all these years. And uh, try to give Adam Green, our photographer, some highlight-worthy moments to, to get excited for here in the second half. And you're up by seven points. 
and I'm sure you'd like to be able to get a stop on that first drive and then be able to get some points and get some separation here Thir in the third quarter. 13-6, Eagles lead at the break before we get the second half started. Let's uh, head down to the sidelines, check in with Leander, who has Mike Turner's first half thoughts. Thanks, Adam. At first, Turner said he was happy to see his players playing hard, playing wide open, but after that, his message was pretty straightforward, change everything. He said, fumbling inside the 10 yard line, penalty on a touchdown pass. He said, there should be two more touchdowns. These silly mistakes right there, he said, cost us 14 points, has to change, plain and simple as that. He said, they've got to take care of the football and cut out the mistakes. On the other side of the coin, Kevin Day, as the last few seconds winded, wound down on the clock of that first half, he said, listen, don't for a second smile. This score is an insult. They're not playing good football. He said, don't be satisfied with this. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, Leander Carey. Michael, watch your keys to this second half. Well, I think the big key to the second half is from an offensive perspective. Play a little bit more cleanly and do your job there. The other thing, when you look at the defense, those last few drives for West Florida, the Eagles had no pressure. They had nothing on Austin Reed in the backfield. He was able to do pretty much whatever he wanted to do. So if you can get some pressure on defense, finish drives offensively, you should be looking at a 1-0 record here in about 90 minutes. InterDigital strives to be the leading provider of cutting-edge digital and marketing solutions. Visit InterDigital.com for IT support, web development, virtual tours, graphic design, internet marketing, mobile app, and film production services. InterDigital, they are laser-focused on your success. 13-6, Eagles lead it at the halftime break. West Florida does get the football to start the second half as the Eagles will kick off. Blue tops, white trousers for Carson Newman, inverse look for the Argonauts, white jersey tops, and the blue pantalones. Carson Newman, 5-0 since 2013 when wearing the blue on white. Shellac limestone last year, 52-24 the last time they wore this jersey combination. Been a really nice crowd here inside of Burktar Stadium as well. Touchback on the opening kickoff to Marcus Clayton. Yes, he lets that one bounce through the end zone. And it'll be first and 10 Argonauts from the 25 yard line. We'll see what West Florida does. Move the ball decently after Reed took over as the starter, or not as the, as the, the guy at quarterback. J.C. Robles out after two possessions. Gardner is the single setback behind Reed in a pistol look. That has shuffled over to a shotgun pretty much every possession. And now he takes his position at Reed's right hip. And off to the left side to Gardner. He's met in the backfield by Rondro Peebles and suplexed backward back to the 19-yard line. A loss of six. Rondro Peebles dials up the blitz. Nobody blocked Peebles, and he was able to do a nice job in the open field. If he doesn't make that tackle, that's a big game. Instead, it's a loss of six and a win on the first play of the second half. Second and 16 for the Argonauts. Left hash it, their own 19-yard line. 13-6, Eagles lead it. 14-25 to play first quarter. Gardner to the left of Reed in the gun. Snap back, six-man rush. Reed stands in. He'll have to run to the right. Pumps, gets hit, throws low, incomplete to Letio. Up at the 30-yard line, running a crossing pattern in front of Darius Williams at the 30-yard line. Third down, 16 to go for the Argonauts. Potential chance here for the Eagles to force West Florida off the field with a three and out for the third time today. Reed's got excellent pocket presence. He's able to move around, shimmy around in the pocket, and find some open gaps to be able to release some options down the field. Carson Newman's pass rush was a little slow to get home, but finally able to force that. Now on a big third and 16, Eagles with an opportunity to force a three and out. Redshirt freshman Austin Reed, transfer out of Southern Illinois. 
He takes the shotgun snap. It's a quarterback draw, and he's got loads of running room left side. Reed spiraled up into the cross of the 30, and he's a yard short. short. Demarcus Jones knocks him down up at the 33-yard line. A gain of 14, but not enough to pick up the first down. And West Florida, some indecision here. Here comes the punt team. Well, you have to watch for a fake here in this situation on just fourth and two. Certainly a prime opportunity here to start the second half to maybe run one of their fakes. But the Eagles defense does a good job of holding tough and a nice tackle in the open field to keep Reed from getting the first down. The swinging gate, so to speak, is off wide to the left. This is a very peculiar pump position, and Mike Turner wants to chat things over. Eagles going to burn a timeout, potentially one time too many guys on the field. So Carson Newman calls for time. We'll step aside for a break as well here on the Eagle Sports Network. Favorite thing about my street? It's quiet. Safe. The people. We rely on each other. And we rely on our Touchstone Energy Cooperative. The co-op isn't just about electricity. It's about power. The power of information. Efficiency. Safety. Technology. That's why whenever I have a question about energy, I always call my Touchstone Energy Cooperative first. Because in my community, I am the co-op. And the co-op is me. AEC, member owned and service driven. Okay, let's see. Carson Newman University. It's been around since 1851. A beautiful campus, amazing student life, world-class accredited academics, competitive athletic programs, a Christian perspective, a top 10 best value school, they give $48 million in financial aid every year, and I get a free scholarship when I enroll. Looks like I found the perfect place. Well, West Florida boots a punt. That pins Carson Newman at its 26-yard line, so nothing fishy about the wonky punt formation for Dawson Hamlin, and the Eagles take over at first and 10 from... Their own 26-yard line up 13-6 with 13-21 to play in the third quarter. Adam Cavalier, Michael Watrang, Brandon Roberts, our spotter. Leander Carey, our sideline reporter. Glad you're with us here on the ESN. Wimbush and Williams, the split backs behind Evans. First look that Williams has gotten as a running back. Evans takes, option to the left side, fakes the pitch, keeps it himself, and Evans into the boundary. Wrench down at the 30 around the waist by Kendrick Bradley, a four-yard pickup, second and six. I like the decision-making from Derek Evans. Does a nice job faking the pitch again and tucking it up the field and getting a productive five yards on first down. Still Wimbush and Williams in the backfield. Westfield split to the wide side right. Kelly to the short side left. Second down, six to go, Eagles. Left hash at their own 30. Evans takes, trap, right side, Wimbush. Nothing there for him. A gain of a yard, if that up to the 31. Ian Bush and Daryl Wilson step into the fray. Third down and five to go. Eagles started three for four on third downs, but are one of their last four. A very conservative play calling here out of the break. And Carson Newman would like to get the passing game involved here. They really haven't done a ton. They've Drop back to pass probably 12 to 15 times in this game, but Derek Evans just 5 for 8 from 43 yards and, of course, had that big, long touchdown pass to Braxton Westfield wiped out. Troy Dindy is into the game, split back left of Marcus Williams. Wide out each way and play clock at 1, and the Eagles have to burn their second time out. So Carson Newman with a late timeout. sub coming on. Carson Newman, that is their second charge timeout of the half. The Eagles, a timeout against a potential fake punt, a timeout now with the play clock winding down, and just one remaining for Carson Newman. The 278th Armored Cavalry Regiment would like to thank Carson Newman and its community for their support. As a partner with Carson Newman, the 278th ACR provides you with the opportunity to achieve your educational goals, earn a paycheck, obtain new skills, and qualify for assistance with college tuition. The 278th ACR invites you to be a leader while serving our community, our state, and our country. Come ride with the Tennessee Cavalry. Text 278-ACR to 70000. That's text 278-ACR to 70000. Zero, zero. Third and five for the Eagles, 12.07 to play in the third quarter. West Florida goes three and out on its first offensive possession. Eagles trying to avoid doing the same thing. Offense looked good, more than 250 yards of total offense in the first half. Not a bad first play, but uh, 
the second down play, nothing to write home about there for Carson Newman. Yeah, very conservative. And I think, too, we just uh, right before halftime talked about how nice Carson Newman had been able to play and not make any of those pre-snap mistakes. Well, you've burned two timeouts, and we haven't even played three minutes of the second half yet. And that's uh, on the coaching staff. Special teams has had issues all night running people on and off the field. And they had to burn one in that situation. And it looked like West Florida had 12 guys on the field, and they burned a timeout. Evans takes, rolls the pocket right, looking for a delayed draw handoff. He got it off to Marcus Williams, and Williams unable to get any traction going. No gain, back to the 31-yard line. So I don't even know how Derek Evans got the ball in his bread basket. Matthew Gotell was the first man in there, and nothing doing there for the Eagles. Back, Both teams exchanged three and outs to open up the second half well that was the Carson Newman offense that we see at times where things are ineffective and Carson Newman was ultra conservative and too conservative on that possession they need to be more aggressive and that was the issue they had in the second half last year Nate Kraft will boot this one away snap comes back Kraft gets off a wobbler that Karan Ashley fields at the 28. He runs right, cuts back left, flag flies. Ashley up across the 30 and brought down by Zach Webster up at the 31-yard line. Ashley some pushing and shoving to Ryan Randall after the fact. But a flag on the play. We'll see what Todd Boyd and his crew have to say about that. Drive will start at the 32-yard line if they wipe the hanky Welcome off. To Bible Q we'll see what the... Word is return, here. Blocking the back, number eight of the return team. Ten yard penalty, first down. So it'll be first and ten for the Argonauts at their own 20 yard line, 11 10 to play third quarter. Eagles with a touchdown lead, 13 to six. And Antonio Wimbush, two yard score, and two Nate Craft field goals from 20 and 35 yards out. That's Carson Newman scoring. Newton has the lone touchdown for the Argonauts, a three yard plunge for West Florida. So first and 10 Argos, right hash at the their own 20-yard line. Johnson, the single man behind Reed in the pistol. Trips go to the wide side left. Eagles show blitz from the right. It's a quarterback draw for Reed. Runs behind his center. Runs into Brian Bembry at the line of scrimmage. And Bembry spins him around to the boundary right side. And knocks him down up at the 22-yard line. A two-yard gain, second and eight. I'll tell you what, Rondro Peebles has had a big-time game. He was able to join the party there and make another stop. He has 10 tackles in the game, one and a half sacks, three tackles for loss. He's been all over the football field for Coach Mike Turner's crew. Second and eight for the Argos from their own 22. Reed dumps a screen out to Johnson, complete in the backfield. Johnson angling his way to the left sideline, picks up the first down across the 30, and steps out of bounds up at the 31-yard line. Darius Williams pressured him out, but good enough for nine yards and a first down for the Argonauts. 10-30 left third quarter, 13-6, Eagles lead. And here as night has fallen at Burktar Stadium. Lamps are lit, no sun in sight anymore on a pleasant Opening night here at Mossy Creek. Eagles five of their last one, five and one in their last six on Thursday night home openers. West Florida undefeated all time on opening night. First and ten Argos left hash at their own 31. Reed from the gun back to pass. Sprints right, looking, looking, throws, middle of the field, complete to Chanel up at the 45 yard line, and he's barreled down immediately by McDonald. Gain of 14 and a first down for the Argos on the crossing pattern. He had two crossing routes within about seven or eight yards of each other. I was just trying to pick out his poison. Which one did he want to try to hit as he shuffled to his right-hand side? And he has been highly effective for Coach Pete Shinnick in his first action in a West Florida uniform, the Southern Illinois transfer. Four wide set for the Argos, two each way. Wide side is to the left on first and ten. Right hash at the Argo zone 45. Reed back to pass, slips it right side. That is bobbled and caught by Randolph. He hauls it in at his knees up at the 49-yard line in front of Rondro Peebles and Ray Artebridge. A gain of four, second and six, and Randolph fortuitous that that one wasn't picked. That ball is bouncing around. Ray Artebridge just couldn't quite get there in time to leap in front and scoop that ball off of a shoulder pad. Good drive working right now by the Argos. 
Fifth play of the possession coming up. West Florida down a touchdown with nine minutes to play in the third. From the gun, Reed, he's back to pass. Pressure evades one man, now slings middle of the field, complete to Letio. Letio first down yardage across the Carson Newman 45 and spun down by Henderson down at the 44 over the numbers right side. Seven yards and a first down through the air for the Argonauts. Reed, eight of 13 now through the air for 92 yards. And Letio now with four catches for 38 yards. He's working underneath, a lot of easy routes, quick action plays. And Kirsten Newman just can't stick with him. If the Eagles are going to put a linebacker on the slot receiver for West Florida, he's going to win that matchup every game. First and 10 Argonauts, right hash at the Carson Newman 44. Reed back in the gun. Wants it middle of the field again, this time for Chanel. Incomplete over the sack logo down at the 25 right side. Had a step on Alonzo Houston, was in receivable position, but Reed just didn't hit his target that time. Second and 10, 8.20 to play third quarter, 13-6 Eagles in front. He had two wide open receivers, and both were on linebackers. If he would have picked out either one, it would have been a big play, probably inside the red zone. But instead he missed, and now the Eagles are able to make an adjustment defensively and bring in a fifth defensive back against this spread attack. Three-man front for Carson Newman. 3-3-5, three, three, look your nickel look. The second and 10, right hash for the Argonauts at the Carson Newman 44. Reed from the gun. Quarterback draw again, head straight ahead, now to the left. Gets hit at the line of scrimmage and spun forward by Alonzo Houston down to the 41-yard line. A three-yard tally for Austin Reed, eighth carry. He's up to 38 yards. Third down and seven to go as the clock winds toward eight minutes in the third. Eagles in the driver's seat at 13 to six. West Florida deliberate here. Well, here's a big third down. This is a huge one here in the second half. Argos have been able to move the ball since Reed took over at quarterback on the third drive of the game. Argos two for six on third downs today. This one is third and seven toward the left hash of the Carson Newman 41. Reed back to pass, pressured, rolls right, throws right. That's complete to Chanel for first down yardage and blasted around the shoulders, knocked forward over the numbers right side down to the 29-yard line. A pickup of 12 and a first down through the air for the Argonauts. Demarcus Jones, the man that knocked him down. I'll tell you what, Carson Newman's defensive backs are getting eaten alive on crossing patterns. They have no chance. Larry Slade sticking to the same kind of defense. He probably needs to shuffle it up, maybe go a little zone here and there, try to make adjustments to get some stops. 13-6, Eagles lead, but West Florida on the move. First and 10 from the right hash at the Carson Newman 29. Ninth play of the drive coming up. 51 yards consumed. Reed back to pass. Deep ball along the right sideline. It's a jump ball, and it's incomplete. Wanted Randolph along the right side of the end zone. Ray Arterbridge was step for step with him, and Randolph got a little twisted around trying to pinpoint that ball. Got his fingertips to it, but couldn't haul it in. Second and 10 after the incompletion. Well, Ray Arterbridge didn't make a very good read on that ball. He stopped at the goal line on a deep ball down the sideline rather than stay with his man. And he got turned around and that easily could have went for a touchdown because Randolph was able to spring open, get his hands on it, but he also had to turn around. Second and 10, Argonauts right hash at the Carson Newman 29. Newton into the game at tailback. He's to the right of Reed in the gun, two wide each way, wide side to the left. And a hard count draws Carson Newman off sides. Flags fly, Alonzo Houston and Brian Bimbry both broke into the neutral zone. Play clock was dwindling down, too. Let's see what Todd Boyd and company say. Well, you'd like to think that Carson Newman's football IQ is good enough that they saw that the play clock hit zero, and they were just going. There's no foul for offsides of the defense. There was a delayed game on the offense. Number 14, it's a five-yard penalty. Remains second down. Well, you expect that kind of IQ out of Brian Bimbry, but Alonzo Houston? Quality move by the sophomore out of Florida. Yeah, excellent job by Carson Newman's defense because as a defender, you also have to keep your eye on that clock. If it's getting down and it hits zero, take off because it's not going to be a penalty on you if it's a delay of game or you time it up perfectly and you're able to stop the opponents in the backfield. So second and 15 behind the sticks now are the Argos. Big opportunity here for the defense. Right hash at the Eagle 34. Reed from the gun. Seven-man rush. Reed steps up, moves left, dumps. It's batted in the air and incomplete. 
Antonio Henderson had a chance at diving for it, but it was Rondro Peebles who knocked it skyward. No dice, though, for the Eagles, but they do force third and 15. Man. Blitz comes from Darius Williams, and it's Peebles who nearly had something special. Yeah, Rondro Peebles. Boy, has he had a big-time game. I mentioned Antonio Henderson. All-American type season that he could have. Well, maybe Peebles stepping up as well in this linebacking core, maybe taking over the strong suit of this Carson Newman defense. Peebles has been all over the field. And now on third and 15, let's see what the Argos dial up. They've been content with trying to push the ball down the field and not necessarily go with draws or screens. 6.56 to play third quarter, 13-6 Eagles lead. Reed on third and 15 from the Eagle 34. Back to pass, middle of the field. He throws it incomplete. Desmond Farrell, exceptional coverage on Tate Letio. He dislodges it before it can get there, and the Eagles force the Argonauts to make a decision here. Do you rely on the leg of Austin Williams? That's a great job by Des Farrell. He's another guy that can put together an All-American campaign in the backfield. He's a great return specialist, but the best cover corner, I think, from a pure standpoint that Carson Newman has. He spent a lot of time in the slot in this game, and he was able to read that one. And on fourth and 15, the offense stays on the field for West Florida here. You're kind of in no man's land. This is about a 51, 52-yard field goal from the right hash, depending where you spot it. Austin, Austin Williams has hit 250 yarders in his career. But on fourth and 15, West Florida's offense on the field. Right hash at the Eagle 34. Reed from the gun. Takes the snap. Three-step drop. Steps up. Pumps, looks over the middle of the field. Chanel incomplete. Got his right hand on it in the boundary left side at the 15. Jaquan Smith was hustling in. Would have been a spectacular grab if Chanel could have gotten it. And the Argos have nothing to show for a 12-play, 46-yard drive. They turn it over on downs. Eagles defense does not break when West Florida breaks into Carson Newman territory. Well, that's another really good sustained drive by West Florida. This time around, they go... 12 plays down the football field, but fall shy. They've had some extended drives with Reed at quarterback, but on those drives, you're looking at an interception and a turnover on downs on two of those long three drives that they've had. Now Carson Newman's offense back on the field. This is an opportunity, I think, maybe to take a shot down the field with Westfield. He's lined up to the short side left. Three wide set, including McCarrow, who's in the slot to the right. Evans under center, split max. Takes the snap and gives on the draw right up the middle, and that doesn't go far. Troy Dindy waylaid up to the 36-yard line. Just a two-yard tote for Dindy to bring up second and eight. Strike that. That was Drake McCow and not Dindy. And it brings – or no, that was Dindy. Pardon me. It's second and eight. Adam Cavalier, Michael Watrang, happy to have you alongside. Leanda Carey, our sideline reporter. And Brandon Roberts, our spotter. Uh, on, if you're ranking Carson Newman assistant baseball coaches, middle of the pack among washed up corner infielders. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, I like John Topolesky's yeah, game. Really Love good. Tyler Miller's game as well. Evans back to pass on second and eight. Here's a deep ball along the right sideline for Westfield. Incomplete, or pardon me, Kelly. All over him was Sherrod Oliver. Nothing doing there on the deep ball. Let him a little too far out to the right sideline did Evans. It's third and eight. The officials are allowing oh, a ton of contact. A lot of contact on some of those jump ball situations. Even the ball that Westfield caught that he took to the end zone but was wiped out by a penalty. He was really being jostled around. So here on third and eight, Eagles could really use a conversion and give that defense a rest. Third and eight, Dindy and Johnson the splitbacks. Evans takes. He's rolling the pocket right. Evans throws to the right sideline, incomplete. Romaine Kelly had it in his hands at the sticks. Sherrod Oliver was barreling down on him, but Kelly turned his head instead of looking in the pass. A flag on the play, potentially Derek Evans was roughed, and what a bailout this would be from the West Florida defense. Eagles so far seven yards of offense here after halftime. Granted, only five plays run, not including this one. Personal foul. Roughing the passer, defense number 97. The 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. So TJ Kelly, unforgivable there for West Florida. Late on the hit to Derek Evans, and Kelly honestly could probably call targeting there, leading with the crown of the helmet. Yeah, Oliver's starting to get chippy. And I'm looking on the field right now. I think they actually took him out of the game. I think they need to give him a chance to cool his head because he's starting to talk a little smack. And he's starting to get a little more aggressive. 
First and 10 Eagles from the West Florida 49 as a result of the penalty. Does the Carson Newman offense get a breath from this, leading 13-6 with 5.50 to play in the second half? Eagles hand off on the dive to Wimbush right of center, and Wimbush pushes the pile across the 45, runs between the hashes down to the 43 before Archie brings him down. Gain of six to bring up second and four. Eagles go back to the bread and butter. Antonio Wimbush now to 69 yards rushing, just 11 away from Tyron Douglas for 11th on the all-time list. Yeah, it's been a three-horse monster for Carson Newman in the rushing attack. 69, of course, for Wimbo. 68 for Evans and 73 for two. Second and four for the Eagles, middle of the field at the West Florida 44. Evans takes, trap right side Johnson. Johnson powering his way for the first down. Or pardon me, Jackson down to the 38 yard line. A flag in from the back side of the play. And it's a first down and a gain of five if it stands. Garson Newman's been penalized twice for 21 yards. West Florida six times for 69 yards. See what this is according to Todd Boyd and company. There was no foul in the play. The result of the play is the first down. I have no clue what that flag could have possibly been with how far from the play it was thrown. First and 10 Eagles, first first down of the second half by actual yardage gained for Carson Newman. First and 10 from the West Florida 38. 5.07 to play, third quarter, 13-6, Eagles lead. Quinton Phillips split out to the wide side left. Double tight end look for Carson Newman with Reese and McCarrow. Jackson and Wimbush, the split backs behind Evans. Evans sends Reese or McCarrow in motion to the right. It's a toss to the right for Jackson, but whistles blow the play dead. Did Trevor McCarrow get a head start as he was motioning through? A legal shift, potentially? False start, offense, number 75. Five-yard penalty remains first down. It's Dylan Wilson, who was out of his crouch a tad early. First pre-snap penalty on Carson Newman today, something that Mike Turner made at the point of mentioning that he didn't want any of at the start of the day. So back it up to the 43 where it's first and 15. Yeah, three penalties for 26 yards. Not bad for Carson Newman. Six for 69 for West Florida so far in this contest. Eagles have been a little more disciplined. But as we've talked about all game long, and this is another big drive because the Eagles could use some two-score separation. First and 15 Eagles, right hash at the West Florida 43. Evans under center, split backs, takes the snap, rolls the pocket left, wants to throw. Evans on the move, threw it right at a West Florida defender. Defender popped in and out of his hands. Jordan couldn't bring it in, and it's incomplete. Evans, that one was bound for Durante Jordan at the 35-yard line was probably intended for Quinton Phillips out in the flat to the left side, but Derek Evans couldn't hit his man and is fortunate that it doesn't go down as a pick. Yeah, Evans has just been about a half a second late on a lot of his throws, and he's bailing early as well from a lot of these throws. He's just missing a couple opportunities here and there to get some of these chunk yardage plays and be able to make up for some mistakes. Second and 15 Eagles, right hash at the West Florida 43. Evans with one man in the backfield, straight drop, looking to throw. Evans slips to Westfield over the right boundary, incomplete. Westfield had space, but Evans on and the move into the right, short arm. And, and it's incomplete. Braxton Westfield was sitting there, ready to receive it, but Evans couldn't put it on the money, moving. Third and 15 now for Carson Newman. Eagles four of nine on third downs, one of their last five after starting three of four. Well, here's where you'd like to get seven, eight yards, get try to get inside the 35, and then go for it on fourth down. I mean, this doesn't need to all get back on one play. Play clock at eight as Evans brings everybody set. Jackson and Wimbush, the split backs behind him. Evans takes the snap straight up. Five-man rush. Evans hit in the backfield. Now he'll run. Evans freelancing across the 35 and 30. Evans with first down yardage and more. Evans sprinting free across the 10 and 5. Evans scrambles for six. Touchdown, Carson Newman. 43 yards for Derek Evans. He's topped the century mark for the day. And the Eagles, with some magic from the man out of Aiken, are up 19 to 6 with 4.01 to play in the third quarter. Well, that looked like one of those situations where Evans felt the pressure. He broke a tackle in the backfield. If he doesn't break that, Eagles are punting. But the elusiveness and athleticism of Derek Evans is able to give Carson Newman its first two-score lead of the year. 
Kraft on for the PAT. UD's hold is down, and Kraft's kick is through the uprights and on top of the K-Sack. It's good. 20-6, Eagles by two scores with 4-1 to play in the third quarter. We're back to Bertar after this on the Eagles Sports Network. Hello, my name is Phil Jones. I'm the senior pastor at First Baptist Powell. You know, in life, there are two approaches. First approach says that God exists for me. He exists to make me happy. A second approach says that I exist for God. I exist to glorify Him. And it's in that second approach that we find genuine, true joy. That's the approach we take at First Baptist Powell. Join us this Sunday at 1030. We look forward to seeing you. Carson Newman Eagle football has been playing football since the 1880s. Well, Vaughn Pharmacy hadn't been around that long, but they're both great East Tennessee institutions. Vaughn Pharmacy is proud to support Carson Newman Eagle football. Dwight Disney and his staff do an excellent job making sure you and your family get the medicines you need. Hi, this is Bob Bell. They've always taken care of us. They'll take care of you. Vaughn Pharmacy, across the road from Powell High School to the heart of Powell. You are listening to the flagship station for Carson Newman Football, AM 620, WRJZ, Knoxville. 4.01 to go, third quarter. Carson Newman on top, 20-6 to after a seven-play, 68-yard drive. 2.43 off the clock, and Derek Evans meanders his way to the house from 43 yards away on third and 15. To push the lead out to 14, ensuing kickoff. Clayton takes a knee a yard deep in the end zone over the left hashes, and West Florida starts off first and 10 at its own 25-yard line. Well, last year, a big thing was media timeout. field position. And last year, West Florida started drives on average on their own 40. Eagles were pinned at their own 21. Today, dead even, and the game going Carson Newman's way. Yeah, and I, I really think that from Carson Newman's perspective, they have to be extremely satisfied with how the offensive lines and defensive lines have played. They've controlled the line of scrimmage on both sides of the football, and that's been huge because at the end of the day, Carson Newman's offensive line has been banged up. Mike Turner talked about it the other day. They pretty much for the entire fall camp didn't have a full offensive line. And there were times where six of the top seven guys weren't even at practice because they were hurt. But they've done an excellent job today. I know Phil McDowell was wearing that big boulder on his right hand as he tries to block. But I think that uh, the Eagles have to be really happy with how the, the front has played on each side of the football. And then uh, Derek Evans being able to freelance. I mean, I'll tell you this. If Carson Newman's defense can play the way that it has today, that bend but don't break style at times, but also that very aggressive style, they're going to win a lot of football games this year. And the ability to have now 10 days off after tonight 16, if, 16. 16, yeah, sorry. You know, I, it's math. Math. Yeah, it's, that's <laughs> Journalism, not, man. Yeah, that's, <laughs> How do weeks work? That, that's not why they called us. I mean, I, you know, it'd be too hard to calculate Brandon Roberts' bat, career batting average. It's like so 270. Very I've, low I've number. I've done the math. Very, I've very low number. But, uh, but certainly for Carson Newman, you want to get through tonight, try to stay healthy, and if they can finish this game, 19 minutes left. Last year against Wingate, similar situation. Couldn't quite finish down the stretch. First and 10. Argonauts right hash it their own 25 yard line. Newton, the single setback behind Reed, and Reed will toss it to him left side. Strike that that's not Newton, that is Shamari Mason, who takes the toss two yards up to the 27 yard line before he's brought down between the hashes. Second and eight. Eagles have limited West Florida at 154 yards of total offense, just 51 on the ground. 3.40 to play, third quarter, 20-6, to six, Eagles with a two-score lead. West Florida unbeaten. All-time on opening night in their brief history as a program. This is the fourth year. Mason behind Reed, now to his right in the gun. Reed takes the snap, blitz comes, picked up by Mason, dumps over the middle of the field, incomplete. Was intended for Chanel. But Rondro Peebles, great coverage on him. Almost blocked, boxed him out. Shades of uh, Sawyer Williams there to prevent him from reaching that pass, and it's third down and eight. West Florida can ill afford a three now. Yeah, really nice job that time. Bracket coverage on a crossing pattern down the middle of the football field. Excellent defense there from Carson Newman. And now another third down situation. Eagles have adjusted to the different style with Reed in there at quarterback after Robles had the first two drives. Second and eight, Argonauts toward the left hashes at their own 27-yard line. Reed from the gun, takes the snap, quarterback draw straight ahead. Reed hit 
by Peebles. Loses the ball as he lurches out. They're going to say the ground causes the fumble, which is probably the correct call. But Rondro Peebles, again, sticking his neck in there. And he makes a stop to save the first down and another draw from Reed. Gets up to the 33-yard line, a gain of six. Three and out for the Argonauts. We're watching the replay in the booth, and absolutely, ground causes Reed's fumble. But how about Rondro Peebles? A man's man, 12 tackles today to lead all defenders, not to mention a, a half, a sack and a half, a couple breakups, three tackles for loss. Solid game for the Knoxville Central product. Father played here at Carson Newman, returned a pick 58 yards for a score in his time against Gardner Webb. Snap back to Hamlin for the punt. It's off a high hanger that corkscrews at the 35, high bounce across the 30 between the hashes, and will come to a halt tailing off to the left at the 28-yard line. So Carson Newman takes over, 2.14 to go in the third quarter, leading 20-6 to at its own 27-yard line. Michael Watchering, the last drive, it wasn't pretty, but it produces points. We'll see what the Eagles go to here with a two-score lead. Yeah, I think that this is, uh, you know, uh, maybe an opportunity again for Kirsten Newman. Maybe take that chance up top because you can put the knockout blow in one play. But knowing Mike Turner and his conservative persona at times, this might be a grind out. Let's take it to the fourth quarter and hold on to this lead. Be curious to see what the Eagles do. They do go three wide here. Two to the wide side left. McCarve in the slot. Indian Johnson the split backs. It's a toss to the left side for Toot Johnson. Johnson, that bullish running style, pulls a guy over at the 30 and comes to a halt at the 32-yard line. Diarve Brown for the brunt of that runaway freight train. Five-yard gain, second and five. Well, we know that Toot Johnson certainly has the gas in the tank to be able to run some people over and He's yet to really, really get going in this one, despite the fact that he's also trending towards 100 yards in the game. Seven carries for 58 yards for two. The bulk of it on that 51-yard jaunt that set up Wimbush's two-yard score. Dindian Johnson split backs behind Evans. Evans takes the snap, looks to throw out to McCarrow right side. Complete. McCarrow lowers his shoulders and gets up to the 38-yard line. Takes a ride on Darvey or Brown. It's six yards and a first down for the Eagles. Trevor McCarrow two catches today. I can't think of the last time a tight end was thrown the ball twice in a season. And Trevor McCarrow the tight end, a pair of catches already today. 67 seconds left, third quarter. Eagles up 20 to 6, first and 10 from the Eagles' own 38. Dindian Johnson, the split backs behind Evans, brings McCarve in motion to the wide side left. Evans takes, gives on the dive to Johnson, and West Florida was ready for it. No gain. Johnson able to surge back to the line of scrimmage. Bush and Gotel were right there, and it's second and 10. But West Florida has been ready for the dive. The Argonauts have taken that away from Carson Newman today, but to the Eagles' credit, still 327 yards of total offense, 277 on the ground, averaging 7.7 .7 a touch. Offense has worked well, just not at times what Carson Newman would truly like to work well. Nine on the play clock, 22 seconds to play in the third quarter. Evans takes. This time the dive goes to Dindy, and it does work. Dindy with first down yardage running between the hashes, across the 45 and 50 and into Argo territory. He's brought down at the 49-yard line. 13-yard gain, Andre Duncombe with the tackle. All GSC selection. First down, Eagles. And Carson Newman does not need to run another play in the third quarter unless it so desires. And that is how the third comes to a close. Eagles with a two-score lead on its opener. 20-6, to six, Carson Newman leads West Florida after 45 minutes. We're back to the fourth quarter after this on the Eagle Sports Network. Since 1916, a lot of independent agents have recommended auto owners insurance, and a lot of parents have taken that recommendation to heart. So have a lot of their children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. As we celebrate our first 100 years, auto owners insurance thanks all those who have put their trust in us and all the generations who will. When you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home-cooked meal, turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never-frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. 
Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. From footlong hot dogs to juicy steaks, Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. Start of the fourth quarter here at Burktar Stadium. Adam Cavalier, Michael Watrain, glad to have you alongside. Brandon Roberts is our spotter. Leander Carey, our sideline reporter. Christian Rizorik running the board in the booth. Dave Claybo running the show back inside of network control. And the Eagles in the driver's seat up 20-6 to six at the start of the fourth quarter. First and 10 from the West Florida 49-yard line. Johnson and Dindy are the splitbacks behind Derek Evans. A wide out each direction. Tight end McCare to the right of the line. Evans takes the snap, gives to Dindy left side on a counter dive almost. And Dindy able to push forward down to the 48-yard line. Just a yard for Dindy before Pinnerton gobbled him up. Second down and nine to go. Carson Newman has already chewed up nearly three minutes of clock on this possession and looking to do more. Second half has been great for the Eagles' defense. Three and out, turnover on downs, three and out for West Florida's offense. And now the Eagles' offense trying to keep the, keep the rings rolling. Johnson and Dindy again the split backs behind Evans. McCarve tight end to the right of the line wide out each way. Evans takes the snap gives to Johnson on the dive. West Florida jumped a little bit threw him off and Evans able to hand off and get five yards to Johnson down to the 45 yard line. Pardon me three yards. Third down and six to go. Archie with the stop on toot. Here's top All sides, defense, number 90. Five-yard penalty, replay second down. Thought it was offsides, never saw the flag. Evans got the Argonauts to jump with a hard count. So march it down to the 43 to bring up second down and four to go. 14-14 left fourth quarter, 20-6. to six. Eagles the lead. All rests on the scruff of the Eagle Head logo, middle of the field. For this second and three, the Argonaut 43. Johnson and Jackson, the split backs behind Evans. Evans takes the snap, takes the dive, pitches it left to Wimbush, and Wimbush tight ropes along the left sideline and actually steps out down at the 42-yard line. So just a yard gain for Antonio Wimbush. 75 yards for Wimbo on the day. Five away from 11th place on the all-time rushing list and tying Tyrone, Tyron Douglas. Needs 45 more yards to become Carson Newman's 10th all-time 3,000-yard rusher. But at present pace, that might have to wait for Wingate week unless the Eagles burst something open. Third and three for Carson Newman from the West Florida 42. Evans under center, takes the snap, gives, trap, left side, Wimbush, Wimbush, hurdles a man, gets across the 40, and picks up the first down, going skyward, landing in the boundary, left side down at the 36-yard line. Limehouse with the stop. Wimbush has moved past Tyron Douglas and sits in 11th place all by his lonesome on the all-time rushing chart. First and 10 Eagles from the West Florida 36. And this is a vintage Carson Newman drive now. Four minutes of clock have elapsed. Eagles have moved the chains now three times on the possession. And looking to protect a 20-6 lead with 12.52 to play in the fourth quarter. Evans under center, split max. Takes the snap, toss, left side Johnson. Lost the handle on it, and Johnson will recover his own fumble back at the 42-yard line. So that's two fumbles now for Toot. This one goes for a loss of six, and it's second and 16. You know, but that's a smart play. Yeah. He probably could have picked it up and maybe tried to get a couple out of it. But intelligent, understands you're up two scores. You don't need to make something out of nothing. Flop on the football, cradle it, maintain possession, run some clock. That'd be a real Kanye West move to try to get something out of nothing. Instead, Wimbush squashing that football like a bunch of mashed potatoes, and it's second and 16. Ball in the left hash at the West Florida 42. Evans takes, rolls the pocket right, looks to throw, settles, now sprints back again to the right. Evans cut off at the right sideline and knocked out of bounds 
by Ferguson for a loss back to the 43-yard line. So just a loss of one. There's a penalty marker on the field. Let's we'll see what this is. Todd Boyd and his crew have done a fine job today, as you would expect from one of the top officials in the South Atlantic Conference. They've called it evenly, certainly have let them play right too. Right below the waist, offense, number four, blocking back towards the original position of the, of the ball. 15-yard penalty, replay second down. So Sharon Jackson called for the chop block, and the only positive out of that is that you get to replay second down. But it's at second and 32. Yeah, if you're Derek Evans, throw the football away. You don't need to take it unnecessary hit you're already up by two scores throw the football away and move on the line to gain for Carson Newman is the West Florida 26 it's back at Carson Newman's 44 10th play of the drive coming up with 11.50 to play fourth quarter Eagles up 20 to 6 the good thing is that this drive has taken up five minutes of game action Evans fumbles the snap and is able to pick it back up for no gain, so this drive has not been the least bit pretty for Carson Newman. Two Johnson, a fumble, lost six yards, the 15-yard chop block on Sharon Jackson, a fumbled snap from Derek Evans, and now it's third down and oh, 33 to go from the 44. Pay no attention to what the score bug says if you're watching the stream. It ain't third and 20 or what the scoreboard says if you happen to be listening to the radio in the station. Uh, I think they're like us earlier, trying to figure out how many yards that actually is. Evans takes, gives on the dive to Toot Johnson, and a decent surge for him. Pushes up to midfield before Wilson slows his progress. It's a gain of six, but that means it's fourth down and 27 to go. <laughs> and I'm almost positive Mike Turner, who, who does like to gamble on occasion, and going to take a shot on 4th and 27. Well, here's what's interesting. I mean, this game feels like it's kind of out of hand. Well, there's still 10 and a half yeah. minutes left. It's only a two-score game. Granted, West Florida's offense hasn't shown some spurtability. But a big play, it's a one-score game, and there's a ton of time left. And West Florida, on top of that, has all three timeouts left. Snap comes back to Kraft, who gets off the punt. Ashley watches it land at the 20. He raises up and is playing with fire there. Takes a side spin out to the right and is down at the 20-yard line. Just a 30-yard punt for Nate Kraft, but no chance for a return for Karan Ashley. Argonauts take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. West Florida, best starting field position this half. Their own 25. They've gone three and out. An 11-play drive where they turned it over on downs on fourth and 15 and three and out. Eagles have done a fine job bottling up Austin Reed here after halftime. Need another stop, though. Good thing for Carson Newman, you take five minutes. Actually, pardon me, seven minutes off the clock, shorten the game a little bit, but need another stop. Johnson, the single man behind Reed in the pistol, now moves to his right for the shotgun. Hand off Johnson straight up the middle. Johnson bursts free for first down yardage, runs over the left hashes across the 30 and 35, and yanked down up at the 37-yard line by Wyclef Fenor. 17 yards, longest rush from scrimmage on the day for West Florida. Yeah, West Florida team that had been averaging as a team 2.6 yards per carry prior to that one. First and 10, West Florida on the move. And off Johnson again straight up the middle. Stop and start move across the 40. And he's blasted down up at the 42 in the boundary left side. Jimmy Mara and Rondro Peebles stepping in. It's a gain of five, second and five. 9.33 to play, fourth quarter. 20 to six, Carson in the lead on the Argonauts out of the Gulf South. Receiving votes in the AFCA coaches poll. Reed, the Southern Illinois transfer, in the gun with Johnson to his right. Takes the shotgun snap at the chest, throws to the left sideline. That's complete in space to Quinton Randolph, who runs up to midfield and heads out of bounds in front of Desmond Farrell at the 50-yard line. Eight-yard gain and another first down for the Argonauts. West Florida had three first downs on their middle possession of this second half. They've got two already on drive number four. Nine, 10 to play fourth quarter, 20 to six, Carson Newman leads. Newton back into the game at tailback. 
Settles in behind Reed and the pistol. That'll change, I'm sure. Trips out to the wide side right. Snap back at the waist to Reed. Three-step drop, throws over the middle of the field, complete to Litio. He sheds a Henderson tackle at the 35. A stiff arm across the 30, running left hashes and down to the 25-yard line. Tate Litio gobbles up 25 yards. Jamarian McDonald, the man that finally brought him to the surface. And Austin Reed starting to catch fire again. Well, this is your nightmare if you're Carson Newman. That was way too easy to pick up a bunch of yards and get it to the 25-yard line. Have to stiffen here up by 14. 8.36 to play in the fourth. Eagles up 20 to 6. First and 10 Argos. Left hash at the Eagle 25. Reed from the gun. Takes the snap at the waist. Looks right. Throws right. Complete to Litio. Over the hashes right side. Down at the 18. He grabs it and immediately hits the deck. Darius Williams and Jamarian McDonald were closing down on him. A gain of seven down to the 18 to bring up second and three. Yeah, just two minutes on a drive that started on their own 25-yard line, and now they're already inside the red zone. 20 to 6. Eagles lead it. Eight minutes on the button. Fourth quarter. Reed from the pistol. On second and three, right hash at the Eagle. 18. Reed brings Newton off to his left hip. Takes the snap at the waist. Looks to the right sideline and incomplete. Shot it to the end zone to Karan Ashley along the right sideline. But Jamarian McDonald and Demarcus Jones with bracket coverage. That one had no shot. Not a bad idea to take a shot at the end zone on second and three. But now third and three for the Argonauts from the Carson Newman 18. Eagles defense has done the job when West Florida has brought it across Midfield, see if they can stiffen again here. West Florida, just one trip into the red zone. It did produce a touchdown. This is their second trip. Third down, three to go for the Argonauts. Toward the right hash at the Eagle 18. Reed in the pistol. Newton behind him, now moves to his right. Wide out, two wide outs each way. Low snap, Reed picks it up. Slings, middle of the field, incomplete. In and out of the hands of Coates. But Desmond Farrell... A little too bouncy with him. And pass interference coming probably for the first time today. That probably should have been called several other times earlier, but the officials had been letting that go. Yeah, Reed had started this game 9 of 15, had completed 5 of 6 passes at one point. Since then, he's just 3 for 9. Defense, number 2. That will be a spot foul, automatic first down. Yeah, but you're right. After all the touchiness, on both sides. Yeah. Prior to that, it's an interesting thought to throw out a flag there in that situation. But uh, first down, fresh set of downs, and first and goal inside of the 10. Not saying it's wrong by any means, but uh, that hadn't been called earlier today. First and goal for the Argonauts. Left hash at the Carson Newman 9. Reed in the pistol with his team down 20-6 to six with 7.38 to play in the fourth. Newton to the right of Reed. Reed takes the snap, quarterback draw, moves straight ahead, now back to the left and is met by Bimbry and Presley. No gain for Austin Reed. Second goal from the nine. Well, this does have a lot of that feel of that Wingate game last year. Eagles eventually won it, but dominated for a good chunk of time, and then all of a sudden Wingate went quick, worked their way back into the game, made things nervous for Carson Newman. Well, that's the same situation Eagles are in now. 7.15 to go, you're up by 14. Can ill afford to give up a touchdown on this drive. Second down and nine to go to goal for the Argonauts. Reed from the gun. Trips go to the wide side right. Snap back to Reed. Eagles bring blitz, thrown over the middle of the field to Litio. It's complete. Litio reaches his arm across the goal line. Touchdown, Argonauts. Tate Litio sent through the spin cycle by Demarcus Jones and slung forward, able to reach the football out over the goal line for the Argonaut touchdown. Nine yards on the score, and the Argonauts are within eight. Marcus Jones just didn't wrap up there. He slung Letio forward. Probably could have been third and goal. Yeah, that drive took less than three and a half minutes. 318, eight plays, 79 yards. That is inexcusable. For a Carson Newman defense that prior to that drive had really been strong and stout, but instead... That makes it a one-score game, assuming that Williams can make it. It's a traditional seven-point lead. Williams has stoinked one off the upright already today. 
Snap is back. Hold is down. Williams this time shoots it through the uprights. So it's back to a touchdown game. 6.53 to play in the fourth quarter. Carson Newman 20 and West Florida 13. We return to Burktar Stadium after these messages. Drive safer longer when you visit your local Michelin dealer, Fleet Tire, for a set of Michelin Defender Tires. Michelin is the brand drivers turn to for tire options that deliver a safe, quiet, and comfortable ride. Fleet Tire, Wooden Avenue, Exit 1B, Knoxville. Based on internal wet braking results versus Goodyear Assurance Comfort Tread Tires and third-party wear test results versus Continental Pro Track Tires with Eco Plus. See Manufacturer's Limited Warranty Book for details. Fleet Tire, Woodland Avenue. When Knoxville TVA Employees Credit Union opened 85 years ago, more convenient meant just being able to have an account. But today, more convenient means so much more. It means getting quick access to all your banking, make transfers, view real-time balances, and make deposits with our mobile app. Find out how much more convenient it is to be a member at Knoxville TVA Employees Credit Union. Learn more at tvacreditunion.com. Moving together through life, upward and forward. Federally insured by NCUA. Message and data rates may apply. Ask for details. Six fifty-three to go in the fourth quarter, twenty to thirteen. Carson Newman has the lead as Marcus Williams sees the ensuing kickoff sail through the left side of the end zone for a touchback. Carson Newman will take over first and ten from its own twenty-five yard line with six fifty-three to go in the fourth quarter. And this is a really interesting situation here for Carson Newman. You don't want to be too conservative and just let things slip, go three and out, and give it right back to the Argonauts. But you don't also don't want to go three and out and, uh, bam, you're, you're giving the ball back to West Florida in less than 30 seconds. Yeah, I think you got to still be somewhat aggressive with your play call. You're not necessarily throwing the ball around all the, the field, but – Still try to pick up some first down yardage. Westfield is split out to the wide side left. Evans throws his way, complete at the 28-yard line. Westfield sheds a would-be tackler, gets across the 35 for first down yardage up to the 37-yard line. Anthony Bell with the stop, a 12-yard gain to Braxton Westfield. Two catches for 29 yards for him now. I like it. You know, that that. Pitch and catch is open against every team that Carson Newman will ever play. Nobody plays press coverage against the Eagles regardless of the situation. So you can get seven yards or so pretty much every single chance you want with Westfield. First and ten Eagles left hash at their own 38. Evans takes, counter dive to the right to McCowan, and nothing for him. Just a yard up to the 39-yard line. Second down, nine to go. Clock at 6.15 in the... Uh, Fourth quarter, Eagles up 20 to 13. Interesting that McCowan is the back out there in closing time. Three carries for him. That was just his third of the game. No Toot Johnson out there on the field, at least to start off this drive. McCowan and Wimbush are the split backs behind Evans. A wide out each way and movement early. It feels like Duncombe might have drawn somebody off. Dylan Wilson was the man out of his crown. Offense, number 75. Five yard penalty. Remains second down. So instead of second and nine, it's second and 14, a penalty that the Eagles could ill afford there. 546 to play on a rolling clock, fourth quarter. 20 to 13, Eagles the lead. Eagles trying to counter a eight-play, 79-yard West Florida drive that ended in a Tate Letio nine-yard catch to make it a one-score game. Three wide set for the Eagles on second and 14. Evans takes, pumps, dumps to Wimbush left sideline. That's complete for first down yardage and more. Wimbush into West Florida territory across the 50 and forced out of bounds inside the 45, down at the 41-yard line. Oliver, the one that forces him out, it is... A gain of 25 for Antonio Wimbush and a first down for the Eagles. That's a really good play call by Mike Turner. You send Westfield on a slant pattern, and then it's one-on-one. -on -one. Godel, the defensive tackle at 6'3", 290, was the only man within striking distance of Wimbush and a good toss by Evans' backside. 
Just an easy opportunity for Wimbush to run underneath it and sprint away from the D lineman. Evans, 8 of 14 through the air now for 90 yards. Evans takes on first and 10, gives on a trap left side, and nothing doing there, just a yard down to the 40 for the Eagles on the handoff to Drake McCowan. Second and nine for Carson Newman. Ian Bush and Daryl Wilson again into the fray there. You're starting to do your math here, though. Another first down for the Eagles. West Florida has to start to use some timeouts. You get another first down after that, it might be game, set, and match for the Eagles, depending on time and situation. But you're able to bleed the clock probably underneath three minutes here at this point on the next two plays. Second down nine to go for the Eagles. Left hash at the West Florida 40. 4.13 to go in the fourth. Eagles up 20 to 13. Two tight end look. Evans takes. He'll jet right side. Evans moves his way along the middle of the field down to the 35-yard line before Duncan wraps him up. Gain of five. Third down. And four to go for the Eagles, probably four down territory. Well, you look at it right now, doing the math, you can get the clock right to around three and a half minutes. You run this play. Unless West Florida uses a timeout, you can wind it under three minutes. But this is a huge third down. Third and four, you get a first down, you put all that to rest, and the Eagles can grind it out. But potentially four down territory. It wouldn't surprise me either if the Eagles took a delay of game if they don't get a whole lot of yardage here and then punt it. Kelly and Westfield, the wideouts to the left. Evans takes, option to the left side. Evans going to keep it, has the first down and a little bit more. Evans along the left, hashes inside the 30 and 25, and knocked down from behind by Ferguson, down at the 22-yard line. 13 yards for Derek Evans, up to 129 on the day. Well-read option play by the senior out of Macon. I'll tell you what, Derek Evans is really impressed with his decision-making at times. We saw this with DeAndre Thomas a few years ago. His third year as the starter really took a big step forward. Can Derek Evans do it this year? First and 10 Eagles, left hash at the West Florida 22. Evans under center, split backs. Takes the snap, option keeper left side. Thought about a late pitch, then thought better of it as he was wrapped up for near no gain by Bell. Actually give him a yard down to the 21, second and nine. You love the thought, but you like the, the ultimate decision a lot better. Smart to think that, oh, yeah, I could probably make that play, but in a game like this, up by seven, two and a half minutes to go, you hold on to it. And West Florida, surprisingly, they're holding on to those timeouts with two and a half minutes to go. I think that on the next play, they're going to have to use yeah. one. Otherwise, this game isn't going to have a whole lot of time left. Drive started back at the 25 with 6.33 to go. Now second and eight for the Eagles with 2.18 to play at the West Florida 21. Evans under center, split backs, takes the snap, trap, left side, McCowan. McCowan lowers his shoulders over the numbers and gets down left side to the 18-yard line, a three-yard tote for Drake McCowan, brought down by Brandon Pinnerton. Third down and a lengthy six to go, and there is that first time out burned by West Florida. West Florida, that's their first charge time out of the half. So It'll also be a 90-second media timeout. So we'll step aside for that break as well. 2.09 to play in the fourth quarter. Carson Newman 20, West Florida 13. This is the Eagle Sports Network. At the Kate Insurance Agency, our focus is you. At Kate Insurance, we're your local agents, real, live members of the community, only two blocks from Carson Newman. We understand the importance of having the proper coverages for your vehicle, whether it be taking a drive through the Smoky Mountains or just driving around listening to your Eagles play. Our team at Kate Insurance can help you get the best coverages with the best companies at competitive prices. Call 865-475-3391 for a quote today or visit kateinsuranceagency.com. At InterDigital, we strive to be a leading provider of cutting-edge digital and marketing solutions. At InterDigital, we want to help our clients find success. Our team of technology gurus work together to ensure InterDigital continues to progress forward as technology advances. At InterDigital, we make technology work for you. Visit InterDigital.com for IT support, web development, virtual tours, graphic design, internet marketing, mobile app, and film production services. InterDigital, laser focused on your success. Two oh nine to play in the fourth quarter, twenty to thirteen. Carson Newman looking to start one and zero against the Gulf South's West Florida Argonauts. Eagles haven't beat, beaten the Gulf South team since shorter in two thousand sixteen. That's not a win to hang your hat on. Glad to get it, but 
A win over West Florida, something that you can be pretty proud of. 2.09 to play in the fourth, 20 to 13, Eagles with the lead. Evans takes, option to the left side. Evans keeps it, gets waylaid across the 15, and comes to a stop down at the 13 yard line. Ian Bush pushed him forward five yards close to the first down. Where Evans got hit and where he landed, about four yards difference there. Average, Evans averaging just shy of eight yards per toad, 135 yards in the game. He's thrown for 88 as well. A senior quarterback that has been in control of this one. 145 to go. You'd like to see Carson Newman to see this one out. Need to be conservative here with 140 left. Play clock at three, first and 10 from the Argonaut, 13. Evans takes and flags fly. Carson Newman might not have been set. 95 seconds left. West Florida does have two timeouts left. He had a late runner from West Florida as well that barely got on the field in time. So I don't know if maybe they might call an encroachment situation either. Philip McDowell looked a smidge frustrated as he turned back to the Carson Newman sideline. It's a lengthier discussion. Mike Turner, his third year as head coach. Chatting things over with Derek Evans and Trevor McCarrow. Trevor McCarrow, before the season started, his words on how good Carson Newman can be, as good as we want. And so far, so good here from Carson Newman. 416 Foster, yards of total offense. Offense, number 15. It's a five-yard penalty. Still first down. And what you love, too, here in a big situation, you take over with 6.53 to go in a seven-point game. Well, you've been able to drive nine plays, 62 yards so far in a time of possession of nearly five minutes and you're a couple plays away from being able to drain the rest of this clock out but West Florida does have two timeouts left. It's a vintage Carson Newman drive and let's let's not forget in field goal range you can end the game with an eight craft field goal if you need to. First and 15 Eagles left hash at the West Florida 18. Evans under center, split backs, takes the snap, trap left side, Toot Johnson. Toot Johnson barreling over defenders inside the 15, over the numbers left side, down to the 14-yard line. Four-yard tote for Toot, and it's second and 11 for the Eagles. Timeout number two burned by West Florida. Pete Shinnick and company have one left. Well, Toot Johnson is rested, hasn't played a snap on this drive. That's now 10 plays deep. So you certainly have a lot of gas in that tank to be able to utilize him here inside the 15-yard line. You start looking at some of the math in this one. Eagles will probably be able to get the clock down around the 40-second mark, depending on how long the plays take, depending on how long you're able to get it down there. If you get a first down, game, set, match. If you don't, then it's decision time for Mike Turner. Do you bother sending the field goal unit out there in a situation with a freshman kicker where a block kick could change the dynamic of the game? Or do you sit there and say, well, West Florida's got to go 80-plus yards? But all that can be answered by either sticking it in the end zone or getting a first down, but still second at 11. Minute 27 to play fourth quarter, 20-13. to 13. Carson Newman has the lead. This drive started back at Carson Newman's 25 with 6.33 to play. Ten plays, 61 yards covered so far, and 5.26 eaten off the clock. Carson Newman put the finishing touches on a high-level opening night win. Johnson and Wimbush are the split backs behind Evans. Two wide receivers to the wide side right. Second and 11 for the Eagles. Left hash at the Argonaut 14. Wimbush and Johnson. It's Johnson to the right. Wimbush to the left. McCare of the tight end to the right of the line. Evans brings everybody set. Takes the snap. Dive right side to Johnson. Johnson, good surge down to the 10. Between the hashes and timeout called by Pete Shinnick. Four-yard tote for Toot. And it'll be third down and seven to go for Carson Newman. About West Florida. That's their third and final timeout of the half. Got to hand it to the fans here as well for Carson Newman. A lot of them that came out today have decided to stick around. Very good opening night crowd here inside of Berktar Stadium. And, uh, you know, Carson Newman trying to get things off to a 1-0 start. Take a look around the 
family so far in Carson Newman Athletics. Tough start for number 21, Carson Newman Women's Soccer. Losers 1-0 at D1-bound Bellarmine tonight. A 64th minute brace from Annabelle Moore. The difference there over in the Delta. It's Delta State 24 and Tusculum 3 with 3.17 to play in the fourth quarter. Tusculum's offense just has mustered 243 yards. Defense has been good, holding the Statesman to under 300 yards of total offense. North Greenville playing host to the Newberry Wolves, and it's the Crusaders up 17-7 on Newberry in the fourth quarter there. So right now, in terms of Saxion, no update on Wingate Johnson C. Smith. Carson Newman holding serve in non-conference play. Third and seven for the Eagles from the Argonaut 10. Evans under center, split backs. Wimbush and Johnson. Evans, QB bootleg to the left. West Florida had it well read, and Evans slides down for a loss back to the 12. Not a bad idea to dial that up. We've seen that go for scores so many times. West Florida ready for it, and you'll run 30 seconds off the clock, take it down inside of a half minute here in this one with the Eagles up 20 to 13. Yeah, worth a shot. See, see what you got in store there. Maybe the defense gets a little too aggressive trying to slam the door shut. But uh, you know, Carson Newman, big decision coming here. Do you kick the field goal, try to make it a 10-point game, or do you try to go for it? So I think that potentially you're sending that kicking unit out there to try to make this a 10-point football game and hope that uh, – Nate Kraft slaps his toe and calls a Joe and is able to make this a 10-point football game. Uh, you mentioned some of the scores around Mossy Creek. Of course, you got Dave Franklin's crew, Carson Volleyball, against King tomorrow at 1, and then USCA can at 5. Hoping the Eagles, uh, Franklin, a big Bengals fan, hope they can bring out the jungle towel and celebrate. And, uh, you know, of course, you got the Tornadoes out there and the Pacers, no aardvarks out there on the, on the court tomorrow, but... Yeah, certainly a big weekend for the volleyball team. You and uh, Franklin, big, big Bengals fans, uh, personally favor the Steelers, but you know who's great here of late? Kansas City Chiefs. Got to love uh, Patrick Mahomes there. He's uh, a smart sweetener at, at quarterback there. It's kind of like what Derek Evans has been here tonight for Carson Newman, uh, rushing for 133 yards and a touchdown on 18 carries uh, for the Eagles. So not, Nate, Nate Kraft out. Yeah, not quite a Paul Rudd in King of Wishful Thinking. Close, though. Close, though. This will be a 29-yard field goal for Nate Kraft from the left hash to put it out of reach with 39.7 seconds left. Snack is back. Hold is down. The kick is blocked. The ball will spin into the end zone. And Carson Newman will pick it up and put a halt to it. So West Florida sells out, gets the block. Game not out of reach yet, but a lot of work to do with 31.8 seconds left. Well, smart, smart decision by uh, Toot Johnson there to allow the officials to blow the whistle. You wasted a couple seconds there. You had some old geezers on the corner screaming out, pick up the football. Of, of course, wait for the officials to make that choice to, uh, to blow the whistle and stop the clock. 31.8 seconds now. Long field to go for... West Florida in this one, and certainly for the Eagles, you'd like to be able to get out of this one and, uh, you know, have that mouth feel feeling nice after this one uh, and, and a really successful victory for the Eagles, but still work to do here with a half minute to it's go. It's like eating some cookie dough dip before the game. Looking, looking for that good mouth feel. So first and 10 Argonauts, left hash at their own 20. Reed takes the shotgun snap, three-man rush. Loads of time. Reed hit from behind. He fumbles the football, and it's out of bounds. A flag on the play. I'm going to call grounding here. What's the, the word? Trazel Giardini no Rice. Grounding. The quarterback was ruled down before he let go of the, of the football. Jimmy Mara were shooting in. Eagles. The clock should be running. Nick Owens also in the mix. Well, you have to set the, the football here because the officials had Please a flag out there. The game clock to 23 seconds. And they'll restart it. Please there you go. The game clock to 23 seconds. It will start on my ready. Break for West Florida, though. West Florida, though. You know, Carson Newman's cheerleaders have been very active women in this one, celebrating this Eagles effort so far, but still work to do. 23 seconds left. Snap back to Reed on second and 16. Steps up, zings middle of the field. 
That is hauled in and caught up at the 35-yard line by Randolph. Sent topsy-turvy by Rondro Peebles. But a gain of 19 up to the 35 for a first down. And Reed clocks it, 11.7 seconds left. Second and 10 for the Argonauts. Oh, the Eagles will work around all this blubber, all that underneath stuff, and try to play back beyond things, make sure that uh, West Florida has to crack the pistachios, as it were, as they work down the football field. Clock is running and should not be. Now <laughs> the officials see it. Just for the record, that is not home cooking. The electronic clock operator is supplied by the officiating crew. So while you might think that the clock is controlled by somebody that's potentially tilted orange and blue, the clock is actually operated by an impartial observer. Yeah, I think the uh, the entire coaching staff, much like you would on a farm, was like, look at all those chickens when they were referencing the clock up there uh, in, in the corner there that was running. 11.7 seconds left. Second and 10 Argonauts left hash at their own 35, trailing 20 to 13. Reed from the gun. Four wide, takes the snap, three-man rush. Reed to the left sideline, that is complete across midfield to Randolph down to the 45 yard line 20 yards through the air 5.9 seconds left and the Argonauts within range have to clock it clock moves and Reed spikes it with 2.8 seconds left no timeouts 20 to 13 Eagles lead West Florida with one shot from 45 yards out with 2.8 ticks left well, you're certainly nervous here if you're the Eagles because you've given up an opportunity for a Hail Mary opportunity for West Florida. Just one play left, 2.8 seconds in a seven-point game. Eagles don't have a timeout. West Florida doesn't have a timeout. So this is all about game prep, making sure that the Eagles are in the right spot. Three men are back by the goal line. Trips go bunch to the wide side right with 2.8 seconds left. Second and 10 Argos, 45 yards to go to goal. Reed takes the shotgun snap at the chest, three-man rush. Reed steps up, he's hit, and loses the football. Ball game over, Eagles win! Trezel Giardini weish ends it for Carson Newman. 20 to 13, Eagles triumph. What an effort by Giardini Weiss, one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. And of course, when you're throwing the Hail Mary, you have to have time in the pocket. And Giardini Weiss, I don't know if we've called his name all night long, but he comes up with the biggest play in the biggest spot, doesn't force anything in the back end of that defense. And Carson Newman is able to survive this one and start the year 1-0. Giardini Weiss, his nickname in high school was Houdini because, as he told me one time, I made quarterbacks disappear. Austin Reed vanishes into the turf there, and the Eagles win it 20-13 to over the West Florida Argonauts. Michael Watrang probably could have been a little bit more in favor of Carson Newman, but as you said it, 1-0, can't complain about that. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously you've gotten so accustomed around here sometimes to Carson Newman winning games 50 to 45, you know, 50 to 30, blowout type wins, a lot of offense, some missed opportunities in this game at the end of the day. But certainly for the Eagles, I think you have to be excited because you get a win. Last year, a game like this where they had to really slot through it, it was a struggle. And you ended up coming on up on the short end of the stick. Now you get 16 days to rest, recover, make some adjustments. You were able to see a different team and a quality team in West Florida that plays in a tough conference. And you pull out the victory. And now you move on into next week with a bye week before you head to Wingate in 16 days. Final score, Carson Newman 20, West Florida 13. Domino's postgame report is next here on the Eagle Sports Network. Domino's Pizza in Jefferson City and Morristown wants to help feed your business. When you're hungry at lunch, show your business card at Domino's in Jefferson City and Morristown when you make your purchase for pickup or delivery to get 25% off the entire order. That's 25 your order at Domino's in Jeff City and Morristown when you show your business card. Call 865-471-6700 to get a pizza. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. At InterDigital, we strive to be a leading provider of cutting-edge digital and marketing solutions. At InterDigital, we want to help our clients find success. 
Our team of technology gurus work together to ensure InterDigital continues to progress forward as technology advances. At InterDigital, we make technology work for you. Visit InterDigital.com for IT support, web development, virtual tours, graphic design, internet marketing, mobile app, and film production services. InterDigital, laser focused on your success. Everyone in my family uses electricity differently. But when it comes to our Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we all think about it the same way. The co-op is power. power. Sure, electricity turns the lights on, but power is the information I get from my co-op about efficiency, safety, technology. And I trust the co-op because we, we are, are the, the co-op. Co They're our neighbors. Our friends. Our home. Powering the Eagles and Mossy Creek. We're your trusted energy partner. The game's over, but we're just getting warmed up. The Domino's post-game report hits the air in 60 seconds on the Eagle Sports Network. Hello, my name is Phil Jones. I'm the senior pastor at First Baptist Powell. You know, in life, there are two approaches. First approach says that God exists for me. He exists to make me happy. A second approach says that I exist for God. I exist to glorify Him. And it's in that second approach that we find genuine, true joy. That's the approach we take at First Baptist Powell. Join us this Sunday at 1030. We look forward to seeing you. Carson Newman Eagle football has been playing football since the 1880s. Well, Vaughn Pharmacy hadn't been around that long, but they're both great East Tennessee institutions. Vaughn Pharmacy is proud to support Carson Newman Eagle football. Dwight Disney and his staff do an excellent job making sure you and your family get the medicines you need. Hi, this is Bob Bell. They've always taken care of us. They'll take care of you. Vaughn Pharmacy, across the road from Powell High School to the heart of Powell. This is the Domino's Post Game Report on the Eagle Sports Network. Highlights, stats, a conversation with Mike Turner, and player interviews are all headed your way. Johnson pressured in the backfield. He's caught and roped down by Phelan Booker. The Domino's Post Game Report is brought to you in part by Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. Appalachian Electric Cooperative, your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative, always looking out for you. By the Eagle Club, the family of eagles. By Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, real Coca-Cola taste with zero sugar and zero calories. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, taste the feeling. By the Bible Insurance Agency, the agency that's service built. By the Carson Newman Chick fil A, Jefferson City eats more chicken. By Lisa's Country Kitchen, the best food for the best prices. By the Kate Insurance Agency, insuring your future since 1959. By the Tennessee National Guard, a generation of volunteers. And by ShopCNEagles.com, the official online store of the Carson Newman Eagles. Now, back to the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. All right, we welcome you back to Berktar Stadium where Carson Newman triumphs 20-13 to over the West Florida Argonauts. A complete game win for Carson Newman. Eagles dominate in most fronts, including total offense. Eagles outgain the Argonauts 422 yards to 262 yards. And Carson Newman. 333 yards rushing last year in a loss. 334 yards rushing this year in a win. Eagles threw the ball uh, pretty effectively. 8 of 14 through the air for Derek Evans for 88 yards. He was also good on the ground for 133 yards on 18 carries as well. Carson Newman goes to a tight end twice. Trevor McCarriff <laughs> catches two passes for six yards. Braxton Westfield, a pair of receptions for 30 yards as the Eagles... Take it, 20-13 to 13, over West Florida's Argonauts. This was a game that Carson Newman left some points on the table. This one really could have been out of hand early, uh, if not for some miscues. Carson Newman was driving, had the ball at the five on its first possession, but Toot Johnson lost a fumble. Fortunately for Carson Newman, West Florida unable to make anything of that, so no score. 
Teams exchange a pair of punts the next two possessions before Carson Newman finally gets on the board on its third possession of the game. Toot Johnson, first play of the drive, 51 yards, gets the Eagles down to the two, and then Antonio Wimbush punches it in. A two-yard rush for Wimbush for his 31st career. Rushing touchdown, he moves into a tie for 13th all-time with Robert Hardy with that rushing touchdown. Eagles would pick off West Florida's next drive, and it was deep into Carson Newman territory at the 28, Ray Arterbridge, an interception at the goal line. Carson Newman couldn't make anything of that in the second quarter, and following that, West Florida would get on the board. Uh, Newton, a three-yard rushing touchdown plunge to cap a seven-play, 56-yard drive, take 304 off the clock. Adam Williams' extra point was off the upright, and so Carson Newman still led 7-6. to six. Eagles would respond the next drive. Seven plays, 55 yards, and Nate Kraft buries a 20-yard field goal after 3.39 elapses off the clock. Flip the Argonauts, three and out on their next possession. Again, Nate Kraft, eight plays, 31 yards, 99 seconds off the clock. Kraft good from 35 yards away to set the halftime margin at 13-6 in favor of the Eagles. Second half, teams exchanged three and outs before West Florida looked to be on its way to potentially tying the game, had the... A 10-play drive working into Carson Newman territory. Penalty backed him up, and they went forward on 4th and 15 and turned it over on downs. Eagles would take advantage. Seven plays, 68 yards later. 243 comes off the clock, and Derek Evans freelances on 3rd and 15 to turn in a 43-yard rushing touchdown. Eagles would then force West Florida into another 3-and-out, milk seven minutes off the clock with a drive that would end at midfield after 10 plays and punt it away. West Florida, though, would take advantage. Eight plays, 79 yards. Tate Letio grabs a nine-yard touchdown catch after 318 comes off the clock to pull the Argonauts back within one score. But then vintage Carson Newman. 637 to play in the contest. Eagles get the football at their own 25. Twelve plays later, they attempt a field goal. Granted, it was blocked, but just 30 seconds left. West Florida makes it down to the Carson Newman 45 on the ensuing drive, but Trey Zilt, Giardini, Weish ends the contest for the Eagles with a sack preventing a Austin Reed potential Hail Mary to level things up. And that's how we end up at 1-0 in favor of Carson Newman with a 20-13 final over the West Florida Argonauts. Time now for our AEC electrifying play of the game. We'll give it to Derek Evans on his 43-yard touchdown run to make it a two-score ball game in the third quarter. Evans' 43-yard score is our AEC electrifying play of the game. AEC, bringing value to everyday life. After all, you're not just a utility customer. You are a co-op member. That is the Appalachian Electric Cooperative. Domino's Post Game Report continues in a moment. We'll check in with Derek Evans, Darius Williams, Rondro Peebles, and Antonio Wimbush, as well as hear from Carson Newman head football coach Mike Turner. That's all to come on the Domino's Post Game Report after these messages on the Eagle Sports Network. and your family. Give the people you love safe, sound, secure protection from Auto Owners Insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency, 423-586-4320, or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. Dorm food got you down? Need a home-cooked meal? then Lisa's Country Kitchen is for you. Lisa's Country Kitchen has been feeding Carson Newman students for 15 years. Lisa's has a family friend.
All right, back at Burktar Stadium, Adam Cavalier, happy to have you alongside as Carson Newman triumphs over the West Florida Argonauts, 20-13. to 13. Let's send it downstairs here in a moment to uh, Michael Watrang, who's standing by with Antonio Wimbush earlier today. Antonio Wimbush passes Robert Hardy for 13th on the all-time rushing touchdowns chart, and he's standing by with Michael Watrang. Take it away, Michael. Down West Florida by seven, and Antonio... Uh, Felt like the game plan was pretty solid tonight. You guys were able to get to the outside early. How were you guys able to ex execute the game plan, at least in the first half, and then expanding it in the second half? Um, I mean, our, our whole uh, theme this year is trust, and uh, this is just a great team win for us, and uh, just shows that we had a lot of heart um, playing against a great team. You know, obviously we had our you know mistakes here and there where we should have finished, and the score should have been up a little bit more, but um, just something to build off of. When you look at uh, how your team was able to get this victory this season, I know that there might have been a little bit of frustration at times. But last year, uh, some of those fumbles, some of those miscues kind of mounted, and you guys weren't able to overcome that. Why were you guys able to overcome some of those mistakes tonight? Like I said, uh, just a big thing here is trust and uh, just playing as one. Um, we've got a, a great group of, group of guys, and uh, like I said, we just got, we got hard and uh, we just wanted to finish it. So, you yeah. know. Derek Evans had a big time night tonight. He was a real leader for you guys. Uh, what'd you see from him leading the offense tonight? Uh, I've seen a lot, you know. I uh, just stayed on him about, you know, key reads and stuff like that. But, you know, really just playing his game. He's a great athlete, great quarterback. And, uh, you know, him, him being comfortable going out there, doing everything, executing it correctly, you know, it, it just makes our offense that much more da dangerous. On the other side of the ball, it felt like the defense made so many big plays in this game, able to get off the field when you guys – couldn't expand that lead early, they were able to make stops. What did it mean to you guys as offensive players to be able to see your defense stepping up to the plate like that? Uh, that's just like last year. You know, they did a great job last year. And uh, we, like I said, we just got a great group of guys. Um, all this summer, you know, they took care of the offense, being smart and everything, and uh, was always in the right spot. So uh, just like this game, like, you know, they uh, <clears throat> made some big plays and, um, you know, pretty much saved the game for us, for our mistakes. You guys get a bye week next week, 16 days until you play again. How important was it to get number one under your belt tonight? Uh, pretty important. Uh, just something to build off of. Uh, and like you said, uh, next week, just game planning for the next game and um, taking it one day at a time. Antonio, appreciate the time. Congrats on the win. I appreciate it. He's Antonio Wimbush. Back upstairs to you, Cav. All right, thank you very much, Michael Watrang. Hey, Eagle fans, Domino's is the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. When you're hungry, reach for Domino's. Whether you're a student looking for a late-night snack or just out to eat with your coworkers, Domino's has a deal for you. Get a large one-topping pizza for $4.99 with your Carson Newman ID or get 25% off your entire order when you bring in your business card at lunch. Domino's, it is the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. We continue down on the field. Michael Watrang standing by. With the man with 133 yards rushing today, Derek Evans. Derek Evans leads Carson Newman to a 20-13 to victory over West Florida. And, Derek, uh, I felt like maybe this was one of your more complete games, one of your better games of your career. Why were you so successful personally and then as an offense tonight? Um, I just, it's my senior year, so I had a lot to do this offseason. Me and Coach McKeithen and the rest of the quarterbacks, we had a great game plan. And extra film, just working on crafting our game better for me and as the team. So, just that extra work in the offseason um, is paying off for me and the team. And just, just doing what I'm told and just, just staying consistent, um, I think it will be a great year. I think f the biggest play of the game and then what ended up being the winner was your little scramble down here. Uh, it looked like, I think it was third down. You looked to your left. You were able to scramble back right. What did you see on that play as you were able to scamper into the end zone? Um, when I took my drop, I just went through my read, and they kind of had everything covered. And um, I had a rush off the left, and I just stepped up. And I just seen green, and coach told me run, me running the ball is good as any other place. So I just do what I'm taught and try to get to the end zone. Do you feel like entering this season, you had a better grasp of the offense than you had the last two years? And then how were you able to expand upon that here tonight against a tough West Florida team? Yeah, yeah, I th I'm learning the offense way better, and that just come with me and Coach McKeith and just sitting down, going over more film, and me learning defenses and like nine techniques and more and more, just being a student of the game and. Coaches helped me take my game up to another level, and um, it's just paying off, and hopefully I can continue it through the next couple of weeks. So I a asked Antonio this about the defensive effort. How important was it to see your defense be able to step up to the plate there early in the ball game when you guys weren't able to punch it in? It was great. They always got our back, and we know we got their back, and 
we talked about in the beginning of the game, it's just not going to take offense or defense, especially it's going to take all three of us. And they had our back, and we just they just did what their coach taught them to do, and they played with the energy and, and, and held it down for us, so we held it down for them. And that's the brotherhood, the trust that coach has been talking about. 16 days until you hit the field again. What does this team need to make some adjustments with over the next 16 days to get ready for a tough road trip at Wingate? Oh, just come back in and get, get rehab and get our bodies back right. I'm glad we get a break just to get back get back fully healed and we just watch a lot of film and, and learn from our mistakes and then we put that behind us and get ready to take on Wingate. I think they playing tonight, right? So we get ready to start watching their film and just prepare for them because it's a great it's the first first conference game so it's gonna be a great and it's on the road so we know how they play there. We lost to them my sophomore year though so gotta get a little revenge back for them. So I think we'll be ready. Derek appreciate the time as always. Congrats on the win. Yes, sir thank you. He's Derek Evans. Send it back upstairs to UCAF. All right, thank you very much, Michael Watrang. Domino's Post Game Report continues. Carson Newman downs West Florida 20-13. to Mike Turner steps to the microphone when we get back after this on the Eagle Sports Network. The number one source for Carson Newman Athletics gear is ShopCNEagles.com, where you can find gear from Adidas, Columbia, Nike, and Under Armour. Shirts, jerseys, sweatshirts, shorts, pants, hats, and scarves. ShopCNEagles.com is your source for everything CN. You can even show your school spirit on your smartphone or tablet. All of your game day essentials can be found in one place. ShopCNEagles.com At the Kate Insurance Agency, our focus is you. The Kate Insurance Agency offers personalized protection plans to cover your auto, home, business, or life and health. At Kate Insurance, our goal is to partner with you in determining your insurance needs and to provide the best customer service. At Kate Insurance, we believe that loyalty is a quality that is earned. You are important to us. Call 865-475-3391 for a quote today or visit kateinsuranceagency.com. My name is Cadet Amber Calvillo. Um, I'm in the 278th from the Army National Guard and I currently go to Carson Newman. I joined the Tennessee Army National Guard for the experience mainly so I can say that I'm a part of something totally bigger than myself. Text 278-ACR to 70000 to join the Tennessee Army National Guard. More player interviews and stats come your way in 60 seconds when the Domino's postgame report continues on the Eagle Sports Network. Hello, my name is Phil Jones. I'm the senior pastor at First Baptist Powell. You know, in life, there are two approaches. First approach says that God exists for me. He exists to make me happy. The second approach says that I exist for God. I exist to glorify Him. And it's in that second approach that we find genuine, true joy. That's the approach we take at First Baptist Powell. Join us this Sunday at 1030. We look forward to seeing you. Carson Newman Eagle football has been playing football since the 1880s. Well, Vaughn Pharmacy hadn't been around that long, but they're both great East Tennessee institutions. Vaughn Pharmacy is proud to support Carson Newman Eagle football. Dwight Disney and his staff do an excellent job making sure you and your family get the medicines you need. Hi, this is Bob Bell. They've always taken care of us. They'll take care of you. Vaughn Pharmacy, across the road from Powell High School in the heart of Powell. Back on the Domino's post game report, Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman head football coach Mike Turner. Mike, congratulations, one and zero with a twenty to thirteen triumph over the West Florida Argonauts. That means uh, victory. Diet Cokes Diet for, Coke, uh, Diet Coke for you, you and me. Um, wow, what a game! Uh, felt like you had a game plan, you executed it to a T, and then uh, vintage Carson Newman football late to carry you to the win. Well, it was a it was a great team win. It's what you wanted. Uh, in a, in a home, first home game. It took everybody, special teams, offense, defense, and I was so proud of the way they complimented each other. One might have been on the edge and the other one picked them up, the other one the same way, and just a great team win. It was, uh, and, and you know, they learned that it took four quarters and it took your best shot. That's a great football team over there with, with great talent that they've added this year. Uh, but, but I, I, I hope they understand now they can play with anybody as long as they play together, trust each other, uh, uh, 
you know, have a heart, and, and that's what we talked about today, and their will and their heart. You know, you will things to get done. Uh, you can't will them to get done if you don't have the right heart, though, buddy. It won't happen that way. Uh, overcame some things, too. Overcame some frustrations. Probably could have and should have been 27-6 to 6 at the halftime uh, break. Had a fumble inside the five. Had a 77-yard touchdown pass called back for a hold that uh, nickel yeah. dimer a little bit there. Yeah. Um, how proud are you of your team's ability to fight through those those moments that last year uh, overcame you? Yeah, I, I think it showed uh, again. Th- th- those kids have have worked so hard for three weeks. I've been very very proud of them. I mean, we haven't cut them any slack. Uh, conditioning wise, that showed up tonight. Mm-hmm. Our conditioning showed up. No no question, it was in, we were ahead in that part, and I think their toughness. Uh, you, you know, there's two kinds of toughness. You got a physical toughness, but you got a mental toughness. And I think both of those uh, were on our side tonight and told them, I said, hey, this is just a step. But now, what a great step it is. It ain't a baby step, this is a big step. So, uh, you know, we'll get some days off for them right now, uh, uh, with these upcoming days in the weekend, and we'll get back to next week and work on. Uh, fundamentals and then toward the end of the week start getting ready for winged Derek Evans was solid if not spectacular today 18 carries for 133 yards a score uh, 8 of 14 through the air for 88 yards uh, what did you see out of your your senior quarterback as he managed things today oh I, I saw him make plays and I'm very very proud of him I saw him make plays uh, when he watches this video he'll see some things that he tried to maybe uh, force a little bit and, and but hey, that's a that's a competitor. He wants to make plays. I'm all fired up for that one. Uh, so we'll get back to the basic part. But yeah, hey, that kid's a winner. He's excitable, uh, and the people around him are that way too. Man, I, I, the 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 running backs, the receivers, the offensive line, uh, gosh, and then those defensive linemen that kept putting pressure on linebackers on stunts and blitzes, and and those kids in the secondary, man, they just they just refused to get beat. Rondro Peebles, uh, shades of his father today. His dad returned a pick 58 yards for a score against Gardner-Webb in 92. He shows out 12 tackles, three for a loss, a sack and a half. Uh, really made an impact filling in for Tamoris Coates at that Mike linebacker spot. We saw it in camp. How nice is it to see it appear on the, the field well, once it's go time? I, I hope that that linebacker position at Carson Newman re- remains a special place to be. You got big shoes. You, you know, you, you got responsibility to play that position. And, uh, man, I'm so proud of him. Rondro has grown in the last couple of years. Uh, football-wise, yes, but, man, in the heart. You know what I mean? In the soul, he's grown and, and uh, very, very proud of him. Really a, a wide variety of play calling that you put forth today. Felt wide open in the, the first half. In the second half, uh, you dialed it back a little bit, went two tight ends at time as you were trying to, to run clock. Uh, how would you feel the team did executing what they were asked to do? Oh, I, I think they did. We knew this. They got excellent athletes on that defense, and they can run. You know, you watch them, and they can run to the football. Uh, they're going to make things happen with pressure. I mean, they play in a league that they throw it every down, so that's part of their deal is to make pressure. And we wanted to make sure that we wanted to throw it when we wanted to throw it. Uh, and then when we had to throw it, we wanted to make sure we had his, we had his best protection. We had great protection mm-hmm. on on the post there, on the out in the post for a touchdown. And, you know, we, we had a guy back there. Instead of, if we just let him go, it had been fine. But we pushed him down. And that was a call and probably was the right call. But, hey, it just didn't need to happen. Uh, I hate taking touchdowns off the board by anybody, <laughs> especially when it's a pass. Right? <laughs> but uh, we told our kids, you know, just like we said the other day, we promised, hey, we were going to open it up and throw the football. And, hey, I've got no hesitations, first down, second down, third down, have no problem because, hey, I got, I got great trust in those kids that are out there. I got great trust in the kids to throw it. Uh, and, we're, and we're getting better and better and better uh, protection-wise. Uh, 637 to play in the game. West Florida gets it down to a one score game, and then Carson Newman was Carson Newman. Uh, all but the final 31 seconds come off the clock. You do get a field goal block there late, but yes. uh, game is largely in hand at that point. What did you see in that drive? Well, I, I saw great heart. I mean, they, they made some plays when we had to make it. There was some plays there that, 
you know, West Florida was pinning their ears back, and they were coming, uh, you know, when they read pass, they were coming with the slant and the angle and those kind of things. Uh, they were flying to the football. And, you know, we ran a little play action thing with Wimbo and snuck mm-hmm. him out of the backfield there at one time. And uh, but you know, still should have thrown the ball more to Braxton and to Romaine and those guys because hey, they'll go catch it. And you saw what happens when they catch it; they make something happen. Two things outside of the world of football that we get to talk about today, um, one of which your your run out. Um, you come out with an American flag for the first time, in, uh, at least since I've been here, yes. um, and that American flag flew in a combat mission in Afghanistan. How important was that to have that in hand and, and to be honored in that way by mm-hmm. the U.S. Air Force? Well, I, I, it's very, very important. I had the, the dad of that pilot called me and said you've got something coming from Afghanistan well I got no idea what he's talking about and on the 14th of August and we're in camp and you know there's a package and there's a there's certificate and uh, you know it's Duncan McPhee was the pilot his dad's Bob it's a coach in Denver that I know real well and Duncan I've known him since he was a kid he was a graduate of the Air Force Academy and he's one of those pilots that goes in and cleans out things you know what i mean he's not he's not taking pictures for weather channel he's going in there to get things happening and his last mission that he flew in afghanistan and from what i understand it was awesome they called out the call letters in his name and uh uh, as he took off they talked about it uh being dedicated to the carson football team and uh so i got that and i called his dad i said well what can you tell me about the flight you know and that was his last flight, so he's home already, and he said, well, you can't tell me. He can't say about the flight except there was a lot of safe people because he flew that day. So the other, yeah, we're proud of that. The other good thing that you have to be proud about, uh, it seems like it's an annual tradition at the end of camp, uh, baptized, wow. I think, 11 in Mossy Creek yes. yesterday. Uh, yes. And, of course, that's that's been Carson Newman football for forever and a day. Right. How nice is it to continue to see uh, young men uh, – devote their lives to the Lord through Carson Newman football? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a part of our program that's very special. We take it as a ministry, and we won't change that. Uh, we had over 20, I think 22-plus kids that made a first-time commitment uh, this fall in camp, and I think 10 or 11 of them yesterday we got through with the walkthrough. We had everybody here. All the other kids that weren't in the walkthrough were here and went down to Mossy Creek and had a great celebration, and gosh, 10 of them, I think 11, were baptized, and and wow, what, what a special time to be together as a football team. And then come out next night and have a great win, baby. Turn your attention now to uh, first time this has happened since 2012, a bye week. Uh, 16 days off before you get uh, a team that made the NCAA playoffs a year ago, the Wingate Bulldogs. Uh, what do you do uh, with the downtime to, to get ready for South Atlantic Conference play? Well, we, we, we're going to give our kids some days off, our coaches some days off here tomorrow. I told them, hey, a day off is a day off of football. You still go to class. You know, that's <laughs> priority number one. You go to class. But take football off uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we'll come back Monday afternoon, and we'll clean all this up with video and that. And then we'll go a few days and work on uh, getting better at fundamentals. Gosh, just uh, you're one game down. You got a long, you, Tonight, obviously, we can get better at fundamentals. And that's going what's going to win down the road. That, that will be the deciding factor. And then toward the end of the week, start getting our eyes and focus in on getting ready to play Winkett. Mike Turner, pleasure as always. Congrats on 1-0 and and a 20-13 win over the West Florida Argonauts. Hey, I appreciate it, man. What a, what a great night for Carson Newman. That's Carson Newman head football coach Mike Turner. Domino's Post Game Report rolls on after this on the Eagle Sports Network. Domino's Pizza in Jefferson City and Morristown wants to help feed your business. When you're hungry at lunch, show your business card at Domino's in Jefferson City and Morristown when you make your purchase for pickup or delivery to get 25% off the entire order. That's 25% off your order at Domino's in Jeff City and Morristown when you show your business card. Call 865-471-6700 to get a pizza. Domino's, the official pizza of the Newman Eagles. I get my power from my co-op so I can put my energy into my family. Into waking up the neighborhood. Latte for Christine. I get my power from the co-op so I can put my energy into planting seeds for a brighter future. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives power to your community for your community so your energy can go into the things that matter most to you. My 69 Camaro. Who powers you? 
AEC, the right call for your energy needs. Let us help you score success. Best tailgate? It's got to be burgers. And an ice cold Coke. Real football. Y pollo asado. Hoops and wings. It subs. Nah, hot dog. No, Dodger dog. I'll drink to that. Pass me a Coke. It's got to be crawfish. Mac and cheese. No, seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Um, what? You need a hot grill and an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke. Come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day? Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. It's Tailgate 101. This is the Eagle Sports Network. Back to the field after 60 seconds from your local stations. Drive safer longer when you visit your local Michelin dealer, Fleet Tire, for a set of Michelin Defender Tires. Michelin is the brand drivers turn to for tire options that deliver a safe, quiet, and comfortable ride. Fleet Tire, Woodland Avenue, exit 1B, Knoxville. Based on internal wet braking results versus Goodyear Assurance Comfort Tread Tires and third-party wear test results versus Continental Pro Track Tires with Eco Plus. See Manufacturer's Limited Warranty Book for details. Fleet Tire, Woodland Avenue. When Knoxville TVA Employees Credit Union opened 85 years ago, more convenient meant just being able to have an account. But today, more convenient means so much more. It means getting quick access to all your banking, make transfers, view real-time balances, and make deposits with our mobile app. Find out how much more convenient it is to be a member at Knoxville TVA Employees Credit Union. Learn more at tvacreditunion.com. Moving together through life, upward and forward. Federally insured by NCUA. Message and data rates may apply. Ask for details. All right, back at Burktar Stadium as we wrap up a 20-13 Carson Newman win over the West Florida Argonauts. A friendly reminder that the Eagle Sports Network invites you to stop by the official restaurant of the Carson Newman Eagles. That's Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa serves the best home-cooked meals that the Lakeway region has to offer. You can start your day with their 349 breakfast specials and finish it with one of Lisa's juicy, fresh, never-frozen steaks. Eat at Lisa's after the game on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. Lisa's Country Kitchen, official restaurant of the Carson Newman Eagles. Story of the day, Carson Newman's defense limits West Florida to 13 points and just 262 yards of total offense, a paltry 68 yards rushing. And the bailiwick of that defense, Rondro Peebles, 11 stops, a sack and a half, and three tackles for loss, plus two pass breakups. He was a formidable presence for Carson Newman defensively today, and he is standing by with Michael Watrang. We're now joined by Rondro Peebles after Carson Newman wins by seven over West Florida on opening night. And Rondro, uh, I mean, you were all over the field tonight. You had tackles for loss, you had sacks, you had knockdowns. Uh, what was your mindset entering tonight? Um, just my teammates come in to play. Like, we all just be ready to play because, um, you know, we barely have film on them. Uh, mm -hmm. Just be ready to come and prepare. Be, Coach Slay had us prepare for everything. So, you know, um, put me in the right position. Uh, defensive line got in their gaps, filled their gaps, and it was just right there for me to make the play. When you look at uh, what this team lost in terms of linebacker, uh, Tamoris Coates was gone, but Antonio Henderson is a steady stable for this group. Uh, how were you guys able to lead the way for this defensive effort tonight? Um, just by our actions. Uh, we really don't have to say too much because they know that like in summer camp, fall camp, we, we worked our butts off. I mean, we'll say a little bit of something, but they know that we're leaders that really don't talk. Mm -hmm. We just go by action. Mm -hmm. So that's how we lead our group. It looked like Larry Slade was dialing up the blitz uh, more than once tonight. He was all over the map, allowing you guys to kind of roam free. Uh, what did that freedom allow you guys to do? Go out there and be ballers, be players, be some dogs. Um, that's what Lonzo, um, Antonio, and me, that's what we like to do. We love, we love the blitz. We love to come out the edge. We love hitting our gaps. Um, and he just gave us that opportunity. Hopefully he'd give us some more opportunities. You guys were able to shut down their running game. Their, their big com conversation before the year was that they had some athletes, they had some guys that could really break, break some big plays. I don't know if they ran for more than three yards per play tonight. Why were you guys able to slow down their attack? Because, like, like you said, um, Coach Slade just sending us blitzes. He believing in us that we can make that play. Uh, defensive line, you got Montel, you got um, – Bembry, you got all them down there making plays. They filling in our gaps. Mm -hmm. And that's for us as linebackers coming in to press our gaps and make the play. And we just thankful for our D linemen to be right there. The way the schedule breaks out this year is you got a week two bye. 
how important was it to get win number one under your belt here on opening night? Um, it was very important just to like just to give and put our name out there that that like we're we're serious this year to let people know that like we're we're coming we're with aggression we're coming with a team we're playing as a team um, just coming out showing just it's just to shock the world really shock the world because everybody doubted us th tonight. Rondro, appreciate the time. Congrats on the win. Thank you. He's Rondro Peebles. Back upstairs to you, Kev. All right, thank you very much, Michael Watrang. The Kate Insurance Agency is one of the oldest and most experienced insurance agencies in the Lakeway region. The Kate Insurance Agency of Jefferson City is a proven leader in insuring the present and futures of thousands of families, individuals, and businesses, and they've been doing it since 1959. Visit kateinsuranceagency.com or call 865-475-475. 3391 for a quote today. That's kateinsuranceagency.com and 865-475-3391 for a quote today. Carson Newman takes it over the West Florida Argonauts. 20-13 to 13 Eagles are now 6-1 and one over the last eight years in Thursday night home openers with this win, albeit one of the lower scoring and offensive outputs. But credit West Florida, good defense from a year ago. That only allowed 23 points per game last season. We continue with checking in with the Carson Newman's defense. Darius Williams, an eight-tackle day to help bottle up the Argonauts receivers. He's standing by with Michael Watrang. Joined now by Darius Williams after Carson Newman wins it 20-13 to over the West Florida Argonauts. And Darius, uh, this is a West Florida team where really you had no idea who their quarterback was going to be. I don't know if they know who their quarterback was going to be. Yeah. How were you able to handle the adjustment uh, between quarterbacks mm -hmm. and make adjustments throughout the game? Um, I don't necessarily think it was uh, their quarterback. I think um, whichever quarterback they had out there, they could have any quarterback out there. We just have to execute our responsibilities and get the job done. When you look at uh, this West Florida team, they're huge into crossing routes. Mm -hmm. They burnt you a couple times, but you guys were able to make some adjustments throughout the game. Mm -hmm. How did the communication change throughout the game in the defensive backfield? Uh, we picked up on their uh, banners a little bit, and then uh, once we picked up on them, they were running in them a lot, a lot, a lot, so then we uh, adjusted for that, and then uh, came out pretty good in the end. Defensive line was able to get some pressure at times against both quarterbacks yeah, that they ran out there. How important was that for this team this year to get some pressure up front? Man, as a DV, man, I love them pass rushes, man. All them boys up front, I love them, man. They just make our job easier. When you look at how the offense was able to perform, uh, they were able to hold the football for long periods of time, mm -hmm. give you guys some breaks. How yes. important was that for you guys? Man, the offense did a great job, man. They just kept us on the sideline. They were milking the clock mm -hmm. and just having a good time on offense, getting, getting yards and getting yards, and we just loved it on defense. One guy that really stood out for you guys, Rondro Peebles, mm -hmm. uh, from a linebacker position. Tomorrow's Coates was huge for yeah. your team last season. Oh, yeah. How important was it to see uh, Rondro Peebles, Antonio Henderson, Alonzo Houston really step up tonight? Oh, yeah. Them two, I like to call them my little brothers, man. They really did step up today because they had some big shoes to fill, and they definitely did a great job today. When you look at the overall defensive performance, what kind of adjustments, if any, do you really need to make over the next 16 days? Oh, yeah, we definitely have to make some adjustments. We're not satisfied with this, uh, what we put out here. It was a, a good win, but we have to go back to the drawing board and make some uh, adjustments and get better for next week. Darius, appreciate the time. Congrats on the win. Thank you. He's Darius Williams. Back upstairs to you, Kev. All right, thank you very much, Michael Watrang. Carson Newman prevails over the West Florida Argonauts 20-13. to 13. This is the Domino's postgame report. But a friendly reminder that they've been serving East Tennessee for 40 years, and Magaha Electric is the perfect choice for all your electrical projects. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all of your electrical contracting needs. Magaha Electric, they are your East Tennessee electrical contracting source. 20-13 to 13, the final as Carson Newman starts 1-0. We'll take you around the sack, get you caught up with the final stats. Mark Malzner has that for you. When we get back after this on the Eagle Sports Network. Okay, let's see. Carson Newman University. It's been around since 1851, a beautiful campus, amazing student life, world-class accredited academics, competitive athletic programs, a Christian perspective, a top 10 best value school. They give 48 million in financial aid every year and I get a free scholarship when I enroll. Looks like I found the perfect place. Hi, this is Carson Newman head football coach Mike Turner. When you come to Carson Newman for a game, there's only one place to eat, Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's Country Kitchen has the best food for the best prices. 
I can tell you, after eating here for nearly 15 years, Lisa's is the most family-friendly restaurant in the Lakeway area. Stop by and tell Lisa I sent you, and go Eagles. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. We select our insurance companies the same way you do, very carefully. When you work with us, you can count on receiving fast, courteous, and professional service and quality protection through auto owner's insurance. For a no-problem approach for your life, home, car, and business insurance needs, ask us about the no-problem company, Auto Owner's Insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency at 423-586-4320 or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. Serving the Lakeway area's insurance needs, since 1931. A check of the ShopCNEagles.com SAC scoreboard is next. This is the Eagles Sports Network. Hello, my name is Phil Jones. I'm the senior pastor at First Baptist Powell. You know, in life, there are two approaches. First approach says that God exists for me. He exists to make me happy. A second approach says that I exist for God. I exist to glorify Him. And it's in that second approach that we find genuine, true joy. That's the approach we take at First Baptist Powell. Join us this Sunday at 1030. We look forward to seeing you. Carson Newman Eagle football has been playing football since the 1880s. Well, Vaughn Pharmacy hadn't been around that long, but they're both great East Tennessee institutions. Vaughn Pharmacy is proud to support Carson Newman Eagle football. Dwight Disney and his staff do an excellent job making sure you and your family get the medicines you need. Hi, this is Bob Bell. They've always taken care of us. They'll take care of you. Vaughn Pharmacy, across the road from Powell High School to the heart of Powell. And welcome back inside the Domino's Post Game Report. I'm your host, Mark Masner, here live from Burktar Stadium on the campus of Carson Newman University here in Mossy Creek, Jefferson City, where the Eagles soared to victory today. A final score of 20-13 to 13 over the University of Western Florida. The Eagles exacting revenge over UWF, who defeated them 19-9 to 9 last season. And it was a very different Argonauts team, a team that only returned... Uh, two starters on their defense had transfers on both sides of the ball. That may be one of the reasons why they struggled to defend the run here in this game. 334 total rush yards for Carson Newman for a total of 422 for the game. And perhaps that is no surprise, regardless of who the defense is, considering Carson Newman led the nation in rushing yards last year, 375 approximately yards per game on the ground. Derek Evans. The leading rusher for the Carson Newman Eagles. 18 attempts, 133 yards, and a touchdown. Toot Johnson, 12 for 86. And Antonio Wimbush, 13 rushing attempts for 81 yards and a touchdown. Now let's take you around the South Atlantic Conference scoreboard. There were three other games that occurred uh, during or simultaneously as this game was going on. Wingate University with a dominant win over Johnson C. Smith, 42 to 6. The final score there, it was 35 nothing heading into the fourth quarter there. So this one really a laugher by halftime. Take you inside some individual stats here for Wingate. The Bulldogs, their quarterback Shaw Crocker, 18 for 20, 296 yards and three touchdowns. Nearly a flawless game for him. Dark has lead, two for three for 72 yards and a touchdown as well. Najir Peebles, six attempts on the ground, 43 yards. And a touch, Kalen Clark was was able to make it to the end zone as well. Three rushing attempts, 12 yards, and a touchdown for him. Antonio Wallace of John C. Smith, only 6 for 15 for 81 yards. He was sacked two times. Remember, Carson Newman fans, Wingate will be the opponent for the Eagles after the Eagles bye week coming up on September 21st. So keep an eye out for Wingate going forward. Other scores around the South Atlantic Conference. Newberry drops to 0-1 versus North Greenville. 17-4 the final score there. And not a great day there for Newberry. 14-20 for 20 was Dre Harris for 124 yards. No touchdowns. He was intercepted. And Colton Bailey came in uh, for the quarterback duties as well. 7-12, of 12, 51 yards. He was able to toss a touchdown. London Johnson. Uh, for their opponent, 8 of 14, 129 yards and a touchdown for North Greenville there. And again, as Newberry 
drops to 0 and 1 on the season. Tusculum also lost this evening. This loss coming at Delta State 24 to 10 there as they were on the road against Delta State. And a couple other games uh, happening tomorrow in the South Atlantic Conference, a 12 p.m. kickoff. UVA Wise will house, host Chowan at noon. Another noon kickoff, Catawba will face West Georgia at noon as well. And Catawba looking to improve upon a difficult season last year, 4-7 and seven overall, 2-5 and five in conference, allowed 352 total points for the second, or rather the third most in the conference. At 1.30 p.m., the only 1.30 p.m. kickoff tomorrow in the conference, Mars Hill will visit VMI at 1.30. And Lenore Ryan at 6 o'clock. They kick off at home against St. Augustine. Lenore Ryan, of course, coming off a 12-2 campaign where they went an undefeated 7-0 in the sack and made it to the NCAA tournament the first round there. A well-established Lenore Ryan team. They're returning 15 total starters, 8 on defense, Seven on offense, and our last final game in the sack kicking off tomorrow. At 6 p.m., Limestone will host West Alabama. Limestone, quite the opposite results for them last year compared to the Lenore Ryan. They were 0-7 in conference play for a total of no wins and 10 losses overall in their season in 2018. Well, that'll do it here from Mossy Creek. Again, the Carson Newman Eagles with a 20 to 13 win over West Florida they will face Wingate in their next game on September 21st you can listen to that game on cneagles.com slash stream for Adam Cavalier Michael Watrang and all the great individuals involved in our broadcast here at Carson Newman I'm Mark Mazur saying thanks for listening to the Domino's post game report right here on the Eagles Sports Network You've been listening to the Domino's Post Game Report on the Eagles Sports Network. Today's game has been brought to you in part by Appalachian Electric Cooperative, your local Touchstone Energy Cooperative, always looking out for you. By Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. By the Eagle Club, the family of Eagles. By Coke Zero Sugar, great Coke taste, still zero sugar. By Magaha Electric. Providing quality electrical services and products to East Tennessee for more than 40 years. By Inner Digital, IT support and marketing laser focused on your success. By the Bible Insurance Agency, the agency that's service built. By the Carson Newman Chick fil A. Jefferson City eats more chicken. By Lisa's Country Kitchen, the best food for the best prices. By the Kate Insurance Agency, insuring your future since 1959. By the Tennessee National Guard, a generation of volunteers. And by ShopCNEagles.com, the official online store of the Carson Newman Eagles. The executive producer of the Eagles Sports Network is Matt Pope. Producers Adam Cavalier, Michael Watrang, Danielle Whaley, Tanner Chubb-Swift, and Catherine Cook. I'm staff announcer Carl Shannon. A special thanks to Carson Newman and University President Randall O'Brien. Stay tuned to these stations for information on our next presentation of Carson Newman football. In the meantime, visit CNEagles.com for recaps, highlights, and interviews from today's game. This is the Eagle Sports Network.